Battle play. He did it. He hit the ender button tonight. Classic Radland Raw! We got nothing planned tonight, everybody. Nothing at all. Nothing at all, Briggs. Oh my god. Alright, well, everyone, old Rad here has to get some work done tonight. So, rather than do no stream, which I will not allow. God, come on, man! Rather than have no stream, we're gonna get out of our minds. I have nothing planned. I haven't tested anything. The only thing I've tested before is that possibly Tater84 get the hell in here. Holy crap, he's in a spaceship. Get a good get a load of this. Eh, wood paneled. I did it myself. With thumbtacks. The, this entire shuttlecraft you see here is made out of spandex. I got out of my mind. Alright, I cleaned out the value village by my house. Yeah, we got out of our mind, Tater. Yeah. Get those Tater Jams in here, alright? I'm not I'm not messing around anymore. Also, Vale got out of his mind before I, I was upstairs getting a diet Pepsi caffeine free. I mean, back at home on Earth. You know, that was a good 10 hours ago. This is a long flight. Alright, there's no plan tonight, everyone. You know what that means? Jesus Christ! Free cat! Means there's one free cat upstairs, and he's old as hell. Alright, uh, what the hell's going on here? Briggs wants that free cat bad. I told you, you gotta drive your car all the way over here, across Canada! Now, 
the only thing I did in preparation for the show, rather than make sure it all got running on time, it's, God damn it, Rad, it's 9.30, where the hell are you, buddy? Hey, I'm busy making it so that if Yong Street comes in here tonight, if he does 25 bits, he might get a Tino reward. Because he's out of points. I said, all right, buddy, flick me a quarter, you get Tino'd out of your mind. Like our good friend Briggs and Mark Mann and several other people, this and Veiled. The Tino reward is a big hit. Tino, goddammit. You know what? It's short for Constantino. I did a little Tino intervention on myself the other night. Jordan Strong knows what's up. All right, internet connection on the ship is top tier. I know well, it's the future, goddammit. Hey, you know what? All you have to do is plug your ethernet cable directly into uh, some latex, just straight up. Give you at least 10 uh, kilobytes more a second. It's a pretty good deal. All right, I'm stressing, dudes. You know what I did today? Other than get Tino out of my mind, obviously. Whoa! That's a lot of goddamn games. Typically on this show, we play some of these games. Like Lego Racing. No, is that what I did? Fighter's Destiny. No one else has ever played that on stream. Never. Sorry, everyone. Who got here before me? Dogen Nolan, you're first. Grip strength. Oh, my God. We had a dodgeball tournament today. It was a two-day tournament. Our team's the only team that came in uh, Tier 1 for Calgary, which is weird because we're not the best team. Hey, but what we what, we don't have that lineup where you're like, oh, I don't want to play those guys. We have heart, all right? We're the Rudy of Calgary Dodgeball. Go the frick home and be a frickin' family man. You frick! All right, I will. Got to get out of here. Fake Fan Dogan. Or get out of here, Fake Fan Dogan. Wow, Briggs, shots fired. Dogan, <laughs> the angry emote. You don't see that one very often. That is very angry. I was trying to tell my son, my little baby boy Rad, four years old, about he used to laugh all the time in cartoons uh, at the villain. He'd always be laughing at the villain. I'd be like, son, whenever anyone smiles with these eyebrows, that means they're a bad guy, right? These eyebrows with a smile. Have you ever done that in real life? Just looked angry eyebrows, but smiled. You can't do it. It's not an emotion that normal people have. Yeah, I hope they get hurt more. <laughs> Son, that's the bad guy. That's how you can tell. And now whenever he sees, like, the V eyebrows, ah! that's a stranger. Well, sometimes, yes. Don't go talk to that guy. All right, Shorty's getting goddamn Michael Ironsided out of his mind. All right, stay mad. Me and Desi, we're here uh, before you and chatting. Desi's here. I didn't even see him scoot in here. Despite my aloof nature, I was trying very hard to get the bits. Um, if anyone has 25 bits and want to see if I configured it correctly, roll the dice. All right? Roll the dice, see if you get a 25-bit Tino. That one really feels better, because then you know you've earned it. But uh, we'll have to wait until Yong Street comes in here. I'll have to see how bad he wants it. It's like, I blew all my rad bucks on goddamn Dan raids. Now I can't Tino? Oh, God. Shorty, I, made a, I might have got at least one uh, stream elements thing done. I have exactly zero bits. Don't do it unless you have bits to burn, buddies. I think Yong Street might actually bite the bullet on that one. He's like, fine, whatever it takes, man. I need my name Tino, buddy. Where's my Tino? This is it tonight, everybody. This is it. Now, what I think we might do, you guys know what we usually do. I'm not even going to tell the people that are watching in the VOD what we usually do. If you don't know by now, wait till next week. We'll figure it out then. November is probably coming next week if I, if I get a lot of work done this week. All right? Is Tino the counter to Dan? No, the counter to Dan is definitely uh, Fred Couples. But Tino, basically my show lines up like this. There's a spectrum. No, there's not. There's a hard line. Forget the spectrum. There's benevolent beings on one side, and there's goddamn fricksters on the other side. All right? There's rascals on the other side. Now, we got Tino. We got Dan. Or not Dan. We got Tino. Frickin' Dan. Gets over on that side. Get the hell over. What are you doing on this side? Woo. Fred Couples, Tino, Macho Man, you know, all the hits. All the bangers. Michael Keaton, Dolph Lundgren. All the bangers are over on one side. And then Miyamoto, Bill Gates, goddamn Dan... Uh, and others. They're all on the other side. And they're constantly waging war. It's like a cosmic battle. And here I am, stuck in the middle, just trying to make this show work. Just trying to run a space station here, everybody. All right, freaking around Radland Ra, Mortal Shell, or Ninja Gaiden, if I remember correctly. That would be the classic uh, Radland Ra. But no, we've, we're going even rawer than that, Briggs. I have nothing planned. Mm, absolutely goddamn nothing. I don't even know if I'll play a game tonight. But I may take requests. If you guys have... Hey, when that games list goes scooting by... Look real quick, see if there's one like, Aah! that one, play that again. Preferably from this season, because I don't know if I can get the N64 working again. Oh my god. Oh, that Miyamoto. That son of a dingle. Oh god, he's getting the business. Hey, yo, wait! 
It's just TM base. No! Wow, I was late on that one. I missed every single one of them. Time Splitters 2 Arcade Mod mode. Is that available? Is that a viable option? Is that a, an option I did not play? I think we're playing Sub-Zero Mythologies, of course. That is a good suggestion. My suggest uh, TM base, chalk it up on the big board. That's first suggestion, number one. What in the hell? My, my old school telephone cord uh, headphones all boned up. Look at what happened to me at Dodgeball, everyone. My thumb. It's all sore right there. Did one throw that was a little off, and my fingernails just Shit! took off a chunk of flesh. I didn't, I thought it was gonna bleed out at dodgeball. <gasps> Call the ambulance! Ah! It's not stopping. Can't remember if you need to unlock stuff to get it. Which, uh, in which case, forget it. Uh, we'll give it a try. Oh, we'll give it a try. Now, a little housekeeping. We got to be professional, right? Last night, everybody, we did the world premiere of Rad on the producer's review. Now, if you are subscribed to this channel, guess what? Not only do you get at least eight hours of content usually, not this week, <laughs> I gotta get work done. Eight hours of content a week with the main show. And you know what, if you're wondering, what, how is that gonna help me? You pause it, you watch an, a half an hour while you're dumping out, and then you pause it and come back later when you dump out again, like me. Uh, and But you also get at least an hour and a half private stream over on the Discord, but you gotta get your buns over there. You gotta sync up your Discord and your Twitch, which seems super sketchy, but everyone's doing it. They got us by the balls. But if you do that, then Discord knows you're subbed to my Twitch, and then they say, guess what? You get a special unlock. The door's been unlocked to the VIP of the Discord, and you can actually check out uh, that stream, all right? And also early access to some of my ridiculous music that I'm working on. We got a bleeder here! I'm not gonna make it! Uh, we played well today, everyone. We can be proud of the way we played. We played, uh, it's a big tournament, actually. It's kind of an international tournament. <laughs> Some of the best players in the Americas came out. In fact, possibly even the best player, although I hear he's injured. I didn't get to play him, that would've been nice. But we played some Team Canada players, hell yeah. They beat us, God damn it. But we made them work for it. Uh, we played some Seattle guys, some good Seattle crew. Uh, you know, we did our thing. Sung's hat was there? No, it's a, a Alberta tournament. It's called the Westerns, and it's once a year. And basically anyone could come, doesn't matter what the hell, just come to the Westerns. It's a big tournament held in the West. That's why they call it the Westerns. Um, and it was big. Man, there was 20, 20 men's teams there. And a men's team has like upwards to 8 to 10 uh, male players on it. So 20 times 8. 20 times 10. 200 men in that room. Uh, I don't know if there was as many female teams. Although there was a lot. So maybe there was like maybe even 18 female teams. That many people in a gym. I think 8 courts were reserved. We were in like an airplane hangar. I felt like I was in Top Gun. I was inverted at the time. And then freaking throwing dodgeballs over on the side. I feel like dad strength is real though. How many other dads are there playing dodgeball? Oddly enough, Dogen, not a lot. And in, in fact, in the league I play in, I seem to be the only dad, which is a great excuse. You're like, sorry, can't come out to pub night. Dad, gotta go home, be a family man. I actually say that verbatim. I gotta home, be a family man. <laughs> My son is asleep. He's dead asleep right now. He doesn't know if I'm home or not. Although maybe he's secretly crying himself to sleep at night. He always says, dad, can you write me a note when you get home? You it. Ah, so I do write him a note. Son, I love you super duper much, which is what he tells me to write. Dad, you gotta write, I love you super duper much, and I love watching you play Descenders. Actually, I might play Descenders tonight just so I can make it a tax write-off. Anything I play on the show is a tax write-off. You don't know what a tax write-off is, do you? Do you? The line from Seinfeld, Briggs wouldn't get it. Uh, Sung's Albertan 10-gallon hat was there. Unfortunately not. Is that what they call them, Briggs? 10-gallon hats? Uh, so what I meant, uh, it's a Alberta tournament. Sung was not there. Uh, we're playing with the little ball. The ball that you that I usually did, the uh, dodgeball night in Canada, that was a slightly bigger ball. Still foam. It's a nice ball because you can actually do a counterweight. It's heavy enough to do some counterweight. These other balls we play with are small. It's kind of like throwing a tennis ball. Yeah, you can whip it, but if you do it wrong, you're going to torque your back in a stupid way. Uh, joke's on you. All my game purchases are tax write-offs. Which is why I always purchase the crazy... Digital Deluxe Editions. Well, if you have the money to burn. That was nice when I bought my computer. I was like, hey, 3600 bucks tax write-off. But then they're like, uh, actually, you shouldn't tax write it off so that it actually makes it look like you made more money this year, which will mean we can give you a bigger approval for a mortgage. Ah, to hell with it. 
the secret is just sell your apartment in BC for a ton of money and then put all that extra money not in your pocket but down on your mortgage for your new house. Fine. All right. I should just get my son switched down here. Like tax write off. Mario Odyssey is sick as frick. It is officially the best Mario game of all time. Do not dispute me on that. It's a family event. Oh man. Miyamoto, you sick bastard. To be fair, I got my corp bonus this Friday, so yeah, it's money, money to burn. Money to burn. I will literally burn money on stream and then go to jail. That's how much I'm ripping it up. All right, so we got to... Uh, right. If you guys want to go over to the Discord. Man, you see how easy it is to sidetrack me? There it is. Discord it up. Scoot. Especially if you're a Discord user. If you're not a Discord user, all right, I could understand. But if you're a Discord user and you don't come over to my Discord and just get out of your mind all the time, you better have something really cool going on. Because we are watching Rad on Saturday nights. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. All right? It's an 80s classic about a kid. A hometown kid. Actually, they filmed this movie about 20 minutes from where I'm currently sitting. Hell yeah. All right. They're having a big race in this town. They're going to host it in this small town. It's like the Super Bowl descending on this small town, but for BMX. And they bring all the best riders ever. It's like the Westerns. They bring all the best BMX riders for this big race. But all the kids, it's not, it's the 80s, right? Everyone's riding BMX. Everyone's out of their mind. So local kids are watching all these uh, professionals come into town. And one of the moms, one of the nicest moms in town says, what about the local kids? How are they going to feel when all these new riders come in and edge them out of town and blah, blah, blah. And so they said, all right, all right, all right. Anyone who can qualify against the pros, if you can do the race, the qualifiers, and get within the top three spots... Uh, in your heat, you can race in Hell Track. So our boy, it's like a rocky story, all right? Our boy, Crew Jones, goes and qualifies, makes it to Hell Track, and they don't want him. They see how good he is. They're like, we can't let this kid race. He's going to screw over all our million-dollar uh, advertisement deals. And so they try and uh, screw it up for him, but he makes it anyways. He gets to Hell Track, and I won't spoil it, but I think you know what happens at the end, all right? Plus, it has sick as frick music, and we watched it. Legend Killer fan, yo, what up? Hey, we got a, a YouTube stern here. Hey, if you guys want to go over to YouTube right now and chat your balls off, give Legend Killer Fan a little company, all right? What the hell is wrong with you if you won't do that? And, of course, we're going at YouTube right now. Hey, go give him some company. Don't think around. And while you're there, hit the like button. YouTube algorithm won't know what's up. They're like, hey, it's getting likes. We better promote it. We better promote it all the way to the top. PewDiePie than me. Come on, let's go. One like at a time. This is Wreck-It Ralph Racing Story? What? They stole it, man. They stole everything from Rad. Now, the legend is, Embassy Home Video. Legend has it, in 1986, Rad was the second most rented movie of the year. What do you think the first one was? I'll give you a hint. I was inverted at the time. Top Gun, number one rented movie of 1986. Number two was Rad. You know why? Because all the kids were renting it like five times. My brother must have rented this like five times. And I don't, I remember it wasn't a cartoon, so I didn't like it so much as a kid. But when I watched it as like a 13 year old, in the 90s, mind you, where nothing from the 80s was cool at all. When I watched it again, I was like, this is so goddamn cool and nostalgic. Boom! Wild Focus, sup, dudes, getting here. Rad. I know for sure Wild Focus has seen Rad. Three Ninjas, High Noon at Thunder Mountain. Is that with Leslie Nielsen as the bad guy? I think so. If I'm remembering correctly. And there, Vientos, get over there. I'm the Vientos Nomadas. All right, we're having a great time. We're going to dink around quite a bit tonight, everyone. This is it. Hey, enjoy the show. I, I shouldn't even be in uh, retro. I should be in raw as frick. They should have a new category just for this. That's Surf Ninjas. Ah, Three Ninjas. Didn't they recast at least two of the ninjas for the second one? You spoiled it! All right, let's get to the club, everyone. We are going to go to the club. We're going to get out of our minds. Jig sent me a special package, everyone. And I will show you what's inside this box. And we will do ASMR to see what's in this box that Jig sent me. That's for when we get to the club. All right, set game as Ross Frick. Ah, oh, man, it didn't work! It's because Twitch doesn't have the balls. Twitch doesn't have the balls to play a slide whistle version of the Macho Man theme song. 
in their shuttlecraft. Here I am, just playing my guts out. Just playing my guts out! And that's what I get. Ah, the, the people have spoken. Let's get to the gut. Where the hell is my... I've done no preloading. You have to preload your videos or they're gonna be choppy as hell. Get ready for a super choppy, out of sync intro video. But we gotta get to that club. We gotta. Right now. Oh, yeah. All right, we're coming in hot. No, the, look at the video is all off. I hand did all the lights in this video to go straight to the beat of the song. But if you do not watch the entire video before you go to this screen at least once after you've opened up OBS, they will not be in sync. I don't understand. I cannot understand. All right, says Tater. You better put your seatbelt on, Tater. We're coming in hot. Oh, you had a few day bibs. Give me freeze. Look what I smuggled aboard. Tato, get back in the ship, buddy. Ah! <laughs> it's not the drummer. Drummer's losing his mind. Man, Dan farted in that suit somehow. Why would he go and do a thing like that? Been in the black beans again, Dan. What an a-hole. All right, well, hey, you know what? Since we're not going to the pop culture refresher today, Fred, you know him, you love him. He's in control room one. I'm in control room two, getting out of my mind. Together we make the show run. Fred is really the mastermind here. Man, he is good at getting this show going. Good enough to just swizzle his balls off. He gets out of his mind from time to time. And he's taught me a thing or two about life and getting out of my mind and getting raw as frick. And that's what we're doing tonight. Tachyon particles have exposed your invisibility. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell you're saying. Um, we can't go to the pop culture refresher because we have no pop culture to refresh ourselves with. Bubble. Ah, uh, what a tune. Sunday, new week, am I right? February just blown right by us. We had snow today in Alberta. Come on. Pop culture's over, says Dogan. Time for some games. Hey, I didn't promise we get to games tonight. We're just getting stupid as frick tonight. How's his head staying on? Oh, uh, guys. <laughs> the new spe uh, special technology we have here. It's invisible shirts. I'm working on it. I can hide from Dan. You spoiled my joke. I was going to do that later. That's fine. I don't know how my head's staying on. It's too big. Too much of an ego. All right, Fred, you were up those tachyons, buddy. We're going straight to the clean club. We're not going to look at that dump the way it is. All right, we're going to get, we've been preloading the tachyons. Let's get clean as frick. Over in up late with rad. Oh, well, that's what I call it here. It's not, no longer up late with rad. It's just radland. Although tonight we'll call it radland raw. Let's get a little ASMR here over at the main set. The main set for all the big boys. Here we go. That is the sound of pure satisfaction. Now, guys, Jig sent me this uh, special gift package. I don't even know why he did it. I think it was for Christmas. I cannot remember. I still remember when it was Norn Red. Well... Upon Shorty Straw's suggestion, he said, you know, all the big streamers have a name. They don't have, or like a, you know, a, a complete name, not with a bunch of numbers behind it. I wasn't just Norn Rad. I was Norn Rad 2-2. That 2-2 dogged me forever, man. I didn't want to be 2-2. Norn Rad I could have lived with. Because then at least you're the first one. But there's like eight other Norn Rads on the channel. Always, because secret, little known secret, Norn Rad's the real name of the Silver Surfer. When I did that 20 years ago, when I was reading Silver Surfer comics, 
when I was going to comic book shops and buying all the Silver Surfer comics I could, that was fresh as frick. No one knew who Norrin Rad was. And now everyone knows because the Fantastic Four movie came out. Oh my god. Wait, no, not that one. We need some actual fun as frick tunes. We might as well get the real uh, song here. Start the playlist, Fred. My man. All right. So Jigs sent me this package. Now, for those that don't know Jigs, fan of the show, friend of the show, fellow streamer. I don't know if he's... Uh, can I... Can I Jigs while Jigs is not here? I can. All right. Guys, follow him up. Friend of the show. Met him in real life a few times. His big thing on his show is he likes to slug back classic Suntory beers. And he sent me a Suntory beer for real in the mail. Now, this is a collector's item. They don't make them anymore. In fact, he's like, don't drink it. Don't open it. It could be expired. We don't have to worry about that because I don't drink alcohol. All I drink is caffeine-free sodas because I'm out of my mind. But look at this can. Cobalt blue and gold. Yeah, Japan knows what's up. Although, what does this at the bottom? It says... All right, you can't see it. Amazing taste. Compatible with zero. Japan doesn't really know what they're saying in English, and it is awesome. Amazing taste, compatible with zero. Nothing is compatible with this. Not even you. Japan, what you just told us is your drink is awful. But then, they go as far as to say... No, it doesn't say on the can. Jigs always called them perfects. Perfect Suntory beer. I'm like, is that just something Jigs came up with? No, because he sent me a tiny little Japanese pint glass that says... Perfect Suntory beer on it somewhere. Hey, there we go. Inside the letters. I had no idea. It's all coming together. It's perfect. Oh, it's a shorty straw. So, rather than drink this 5.5% alcohol beverage, no. We will be drinking Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. Bottoms up, you rascals. You know, I think because it's made of such thin glass, you can almost fit a whole can in here. Oh my god, it tastes so much more classy out of a pint glass. Although, if you went to a bar and ordered that, they'd probably throw you up. Get the hell out of here! You guys want to see something fresh as frick? Check out Suntory Beer Whiskey ads on YouTube. They're classy as hell. Elbow drop gaming, buddy. Space! I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. Oh, give it time, buddy. Give it time, they want it bad. You know what I don't understand? All these uh, sci-fi shows where they're like, hey, we went deep space mining. You can't bring those minerals back to Earth. Earth is a closed system. You start bringing minerals back to Earth and burning them or doing stuff, where do you think all the carbon's gonna go? What the hell? It's like a balloon. You can't keep filling it up with extra stuff. Now, I contend that maybe everything on Earth can be contained within Earth. You know, if you do it right. You can't go mine an asteroid and then burn all that crap here on Earth. Not without a big straw that goes out into space. You know? Science. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, I used to go by King Richard 18. And someone said, uh, Why don't you... Why do you want to be the 18th King Richard? You should be the one and only the Lion King Richard. Or, uh, TLK, ing, rich, for short. It's smart, but now everyone, I go into, like, classic friend streams, and now they call me Radland. It's like, I used to just be called Rad, but now people call me Radland. Like, you just call me Rad, it works easy. Space draw, in space. <laughs> Sounds like a sick, straight-to-VHS horror movie in the beta section. Space draw! Oh, he's trying to drink my brain! All right, my voice is a little gone today because I was yelling at dodgeball. We were playing this team from Manitoba with uh, some players I like, um, but they played hard. And they did this thing where they cheer after every hit. Like, guys, you're already up in the in the game. You don't have to cheer so much. Yeah! So I'm like, oh, yeah? yeah? And I went back, but now my voice is all bummed up. That was a good series, though. We had a good, a good war. All right, especially since there's more famous King Richard that streams. A more fa That's the worst! And plays games, and everyone thinks it's me. Yeah, I don't know. I may be the most famous Norn Rad streamer, but there's at least eight more of them. MattKramer.com is some Christian musician. Why did you have to be a musician? I'm a musician, not a Christian musician. Maybe I should lean on that, get all that Christian demo in here. 
Jesus loves the little children. This guy is wholesome. I am pretty wholesome. I'm like as close to, I'm like a good wholesome PG-14. Eh. Rad Len. Now with 80% more rad, may contain up to 15%. Gnarly, bruh. You know they actually say the word gnarly in rad, which we watched, and is on the shelf down there. Look at it, buddies. Look at it. Look at it. Eh. Down at the shelf by Malone. It always stood out to me. At the start, he crashes his bike, his friend, and he goes, gnarly. I should say gnarly more often. We've, we're already up to about five on this episode alone. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean, actually. Yeah, Michael Keaton is a pretty good dodgeball player, but, you know, it's fine it's so damn hard to actually hold the ball. You know, I'd be making so many snowmen, you know, i make a whole snow army at a time. And, you know, I got a big yard, and uh, my hands are just cold. I can't hold the ball. You know, they're permanently numb. And, you know, I live with that choice every day. I think I made the right choice. Hey, stay cool, build snowmen, all right? You know what I mean? All right, we'll wait till the song is over, all right? Michael Keaton waits for a nice outro. He doesn't go until it's time. You know what I mean? Hey, was Michael Keaton here? God damn it. I love Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is on the benevolent side. Dan is on the frickster side. All right, uh, can I move this out of the way? Yes, I can. All right, Quantum Player 1. It was, is he in here right now? No. Not 13, 15, I mean 14. What the hell is Dogen, guys, is Dogen okay? Someone check up on him. He's having a schizoid embolism and typing numbers into the chat. All right, Quantum Player 1 had it worse, dude. At one point in Twitch, if you searched literally Quantum Player 1, his stream was not first to come up. It's like, well, what the hell's the point? Sam Pope, get in here, buddy. Hey, someone get the hell over to YouTube right now and chat with Sam Pope. He's here going like, am I the only one chatting over here? No, Sam. We got the whole brigade coming over there. Get, who are they guys? Brad, what's the link? Sam, I'm glad you're here. We're just boning it up tonight. I Usually I do a sick as frick Sunday show, but I gotta get to work in a few hours. I'm gonna just bone it up for a few hours. Hey, and we got ESG Net. Hello, Radland and chat. Hello to you too, buddy. I was just talking to my very good friend, Sam Pope, over on uh, YouTube. What are you doing, Sam Pope? How's your Sunday going, buddy? You know what I'm doing? I'm sitting in a space station with a whole goddamn club full of people farting their guts out because it is illegal in this club to hold in your farts. I won't allow it. Never for a second would I allow that. All right, you know what, guys? This uh, calls for a special occasion. Let's get to the VIP. All right, we get out of here, out of our minds here. Hot jams, strats galore. Diet Peps Caffeine Free is the only beverage fresh enough to be drank at this club. Out of a pint glass, we're classy as hell. Out of the bottle, like a savage? Not today, buddy. All right, welcome in, ESG. Yeah, well, you guys are gonna have to help me out. Do I dive into some games right now? Is that what people do on Twitch? Oh wait, we didn't get Vale partied up. Vale, you still here, buddy? Vale, if you're here, we're gonna get you subbed up, dude. Red Couples is itching to bust out his new Swizzler move. It's a lot like the old one, but hey, you can't see his feet. He's doing like double time steps. Still here. All right, I forgot about getting partied up. This is a perfect night for it, because I have nothing else going on. Let's load up that Travis Morgan out of its mind super track. Club's looking good, says Vale. Hey, and you're looking good too, buddy. Should get a load of that nipple hair on this guy. You might be... That's almost 14 inches, buddy. You've been working hard. It's hard to grow nipple hair. You gotta concentrate at least three hours a night before you go to sleep. That's how you get a sick braid going like the Vikings. You guys didn't know that, but the Vikings had such long nipple hair, they could braid them together. Sick little droopy thing. Sometimes you would even be able to carry your baby in it. Give me that baby, man. All right, almost. I'm so close, I can feel a tick on my belly button. Fred approves. All right, 
Travis. This song is out of its mind. Go check him out on Instagram. Don't bone it up, all right? Live the Swizzler lifestyle. All right. I always live the Swizzler lifestyle. Anything less would be uncivilized. All right, Veil. The Veil is off. There's a handsome man under there. You guys remember in The Jerk with Steve Martin when he couldn't snap his finger on time? And the family he was living with was like, come on. Come on, you got to get it, buddy. Do it. My wife says that The Jerk is a comedy for men only. Only men find it funny. Elbow Drop Gaming getting over on YouTube. There you go. Sam Pope. Elbow Drop Gaming got over there to show you the perfect... Three-story elbow drop, re-entry speeds. No one's getting up from that. Elbow drop in the club. Elbow drop that club. I don't know. Shorty, should we just go to... Should we go to just chatting? I am just chatting my balls off. He's in both places at once. He's lost his mind. Very alike, Fred Couple. Instead of the jerk, watch the man with two brains. I haven't seen that one. That's Steve Martin as well. Explain to me, Ellie's World, welcome in. How do you get two brains? What the hell? What the hell? Old Two Eyes said, hey, these old two eyes are ready for some Raw's Frick Entertainment. Well, get in here, you're in the right place. We are just getting... Start the song over. Get those Norn Swizzlers going. Get the hell in here. Look at that nipple hair. Ah! Hold on. Fred is going to officially measure. Look, get Fred. Go get the tape measure. And here we go. 13.8 inches. Oh, man. You did it. You're a man. Oh, yeah. I mean, retro kind of work. Swizzlin' Ballin' That's the kind of night it's gonna be That's right, Elbow Drop Game We are sitting here at a comfortable Combined 300 inches of nipple hair. That's the kind of community we have cultivated. And I couldn't be prouder. Retro is a vibe tonight. I don't know what retro, I don't even want to know what retro means anymore. Oldest daughter loves Tiny Rad. What? Young lady? Tiny Rad's back. Drinking some diet, caffeine-free soda pop. Mmm. No, Tino is happening. 50 foot rope, love and remember. That's how you get off an island when you've been cast away by Helen Hunt. What's wrong with you, girl? You got a fresh, fit Tom Hanks ready to get out of his mind. What a track. What? What a track. All right, you know what we need? Let's go classic. Now, this is... Man, you guys walk into a club and this is playing? Oh, man. You know, goddamn, it's a fresh night. All right. She laughed hard enough to choke on her string cheese. That is hard to do. No! 
Bring it in. Bring it in, everyone. Take a knee. All right. Yeah, this club has been going hard and hard as heavy, hard and heavy, hard as frick. Everyone out there is losing their minds dancing to this track, you know. The rules of Earth no longer apply. You know, there's a lot of affectations on Earth. Oh, we got to do this. We got to look like this. Got to do what people expect. Not here in space, all right? Here in space, you're free to listen to the tunes that you secretly have always wanted to listen to. Boom. Golf wave. I didn't think space would have as much golf in it as it, as it does, but here we are. Guys, how badly would you play a fighting game with only golf characters? Oh, man. Street Fighter's good. Street Fighter 3 should have been all golfers. That is what I contend. Hadouken! Hadouken! Come on. Any quarters on the glass with the SF2 machine? Only if you want to challenge me. I'm not going to give you seconds, buddy. I main Fred Couples. All right. He's quite good. If you tell the AI... Hey, it worked! Just it gave you two. not in here at the moment. It gave you two. But you still get a Tino for it. It's not a full, full... Shorty. How the hell do we get it to go across the whole screen? Tim Fallen is the best. Tim Fallen is quite possibly one of the best NES composers. I don't think he's my favorite. But man, some of the stuff he made was... He was pushing the limits more than possibly anybody. And the funny thing is... Tim Fallen, for those that don't know, he did the Silver Surfer soundtrack. Why don't we just... We're sitting here talking about Tim Fallen. Why don't we play some Tim Fallen? Really hammer it home. Our good friend Tim Fallen. Uh, he used to do it mathematically. He would look at the notes in text and be like, all right, there's a C, D, E. That's my song. He didn't use a gooey interface. He wasn't covered in goo. He was raw dogging it. That's kind of the closest thing to a chiptune artist that was around back then, because all the Japanese guys were like, I'm a programmer too, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to design my own DAW to write NES music. Oh, you know what it'll do? It'll take MIDI information from my actual DAW and convert it to Nintendo music. What? Where is that stuff? Hook me up with that, please. We'll just go with the classic Silver Surfer, and then we'll take it from there, everybody. That's a Tim Fallen classic coming at you. Way down at the bottom of my 1,000 song playlist. I don't know how we got on that topic, but uh, it did go across the whole screen, says Vale. All right, it works, but then why does it give me the thumbs up at the same time? That thumbs up, actually, it must be from the other alert. So right now, right now I have stream elements and stream labs going at the same time because I was going to do something else with it. All right, you get a double dose. You get a thumbs up and a Tino. Hey, you paid 25 cents. You get your money's worth. Hands off. You have to make the overlay as big as your campus. I did that, Shorty Straw. I did that! Got the wires crossed. Or did I just put them in the right spot? That's right for a Radland Rock. All right, we get out of our mind. A lot of the Japanese composers used MML, text and music language, for the music. But who knows? They wrote, There's no way all the... It's not like... Hidenori Mezawa was not writing MML. No way in hell. Iku Mizutani was not writing MML. No way in hell. Kei Sawa was not writing MML. There's no way. But maybe some of these loser games, like Bugs Bunny's big birthday blowout, maybe that game was not not written so hot. Yuzo Koshiro wrote MML. Yeah, but he does go back a bit. He goes back to the Sega Master System, doesn't he? Ryo Umamoto. R.I.P. Uh, all right, those guys are pretty good. Fair. Dogan's trying to bless my chops. That's fine, Dogan. For me, NES music starts and stops with basically Konami. Maybe some Capcom. Konami and Capcom, mm, pretty good. Fine toss Koji Kondo in there. He makes memorable riffs. Fine. And Sunsoft. Ah, that Batman game is fresh as frick, but I don't know about the rest of Sunsoft. Shots fired. Barbarian handshake. But someone might want to take those back. It's like, what the hell did he just say about Batman? I'll tell you who's the uh, unsung hero of NES music. Kenichi Matsubara. I think that's his name. He's the one that wrote Base Wars, don't you know? 
Let's see if we can just bust out a little base horse. Secret, uh, all-time secret of uh, NES music. Co the NES seal of quality meant that you were only allowed to make four games a year. Nintendo said, don't you dare for a second make more than four games a year because we want you to make good games. If you want to put games on this console, don't think around like the Atari did and put out a million games. They're all awful. Don't you do that to us. Instead, what you should do is put out good games. And so Konami's like, well, we're rolling deep. We need to put out more games than that a year. So let's just make another company. We'll make a second company. We'll call it Ultra Games. What do we care? I love Ultra Games. I had this shirt screen printed back in the day that said Ultra Games. It was a pullover and it was a small. For some reason, I thought I was a small. I can't wear it anymore. It's too small. <laughs> that small was too small for me. I'm not a tall guy, so, uh, you know. What does that say about me? I'm a husky small. Anyways, Base Wars. God damn, that is heavy. Man, I got a Nintendo Max controller for Christmas right around 1991, and I used to play Base Wars on a, like, joystick with huge buttons. For some reason, I would do this. Base Wars, sick! Sunsoft also had Fester's Quest and Blaster Master. Maybe I'll check out some Blaster Master. It, see, the thing is, Vale, if you're embroiled in it, if you're boiling yourself alive in NES music, hey, bro, say that again, you might be risking a ban. Uh, here, I'll explain myself. When you embroil yourself in NES music, you learn that basically very few Nintendo developers were really interested in putting texture in their music. A lot of NES, like, third-party developers were basically, like, think about Data East. Listen how thick this sounds. This is a third party. Now let me play you bad dudes, and let me give you a comparison of what it sounds like when you... You get a third party that does not care about making their music thick as frick. That's when you're fighting Karnov. For some reason, Karnov is a boss in Bad Dudes. This is almost quality. They got the power cord there. It's passable. It's an 80 out of 10. Or 80 out of 100. But listen to how Konami would put extra effort. Actually, this was two years before, so maybe I should play one from the same year. But Konami comes by in 1991 and says, it's got to sound like this. And then they come out with roller games, too. Roller games might be one of the best NES soundtracks. I ain't kidding with you guys. I was loaded with roll, uh, Ultra games when I was a kid. The pretzels, elbow drop games. Hey, just pretzel, buddy. Wait, how long ago was that? I don't even know. Oh, he's only on YouTube. All right. He's YouTube pretzeling. Well, I'm not even showing his YouTube pretzels. That's the one. There we go. Pretzels out of our mind. All right, let's listen to roller games too. Also, Ultra Games. Oh God, this is heavy. Uh, Turbo Graphic, the HES games. Uh, you'd have to show me the good ones, Dogan. Every time I check one out, it sounds like farts. Like Street Fighter 2 on the Turbo Graphic 16. It sounds like farts. <laughs> Ryu's theme. All right, so there's, uh, and then, you know what's interesting? Uh, Capcom also was writing bangers, bangers galore, but they opted not to have any kick drum sounds or snare drum sounds. It was all done with the noise channel. How did they pull it off? How did they make it sound good? I have no idea. I think Capcom made a, might have had better compositions, but Konami was just better at production. They were making insane productions, whereas Capcom just got lunatics to compose some of the best music ever with the stupidest limitations. I was actually trying to do this the other day. If you're trying to write a key change in NES music, it's super hard because you can't write a chord. 
But you have to imagine the key change, or the chords in your mind, which I cannot do. I can barely write a chord to save my life. I'll tell you how they did it. Cocaine and frickery. All right, Desi. All right. Here might, this just might be the number one voted NES track of all time. Oh, man. Gets you pumped up. Mega Man 3. What do you want, Mr. Quaid? The same as you, I want to remember. Ah. Open your mind. Mega Man 3, 5, and 6 are the best OSTs. Desi just scooting right over Mega Man 4. Uh, Mega Man 5 is definitely an, uh, a hero. A hero of the console, because by the time Mega Man 5 came out, everyone had already had a Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo. And Mega Man 6 was so far gone, no one even knew it came out. I knew you'd get that, says Desi, and you know damn well I would. Megan Man. Force Frick. It has its moments of glory. Four did bring out the Buster Shot, though. Three had the slide, though, and three also had a lot more slowdown than you probably remember. This game is unplayably slow when there's too many enemies on the screen. Yeah, I know, we got out of our mind. All that engine is working towards sick as Frick tunes. I'll show you what's another unsung gem. A lot of people that aren't embroiled in it don't know. But there was another company called Natsume that had a composer, Iku Mizutani, that was a... He sold his soul to the devil to write NES music as sick as he could. He gave it all he could. Anyways, I'm going to play you guys a little bit of Shatterhand because it's a th another third-party developer that probably goes just as hard as Konami, just doesn't have the drums. For some reason, they opted not to have the drums. I'll never understand it. It's not like technically they couldn't add the drums. I mean, they make it work, but if you try to write a song in the style of Iku Mizutani and have to use these drum sounds, it just makes you feel bad. So props to him. I don't know how the hell he pulled that off. So the same year Mega Man 3 came out, Shatterhand is coming out and sounding like this. He is ready. This might be the heaviest track on the NES. It might be. I got tempo change. All right, an interesting side note about Iku Mizutani's style is he adds echo notes in that are from way far before. It makes it sound so buttery smooth. I'll call it out again, Dogen, if he doesn't catch it. All right, Dogen's yelling at me. Play this, Rad! If you think Turbo can't do sick music, well, I didn't say he can't do sick music. I said a lot of it sounds like farts. I said, you gotta show me the good ones. Because Street Fighter on TurboGrafx-16 sounds like farts in my ear hole. Oh! That's not the ASMR I was hoping for. Man, I love Mits uh, Manami Matsume. I've never said her name, but uh, out loud. And do you see she has like a Facebook channel? A Facebook group? I think she... She does uh, like dulcimer music and piano music live with another female NES composer. I can't remember their name. They always post pictures and it's always in Japanese. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. They are so smiley and happy. It's a nice picture to see. Well, surprisingly, the TurboGrafx port of the Street Fighter is the most accurate to the arcade, gameplay-wise. There's no way that can be accurate. Dogen has lost his mind. Are you having another schizoid embolism, Dogen? No, I'm serious. Jazz, get the hell in here. Don't, fly. don't worry, buddy. Jazz, don't worry, buddy. I can tell you like music, Jazz. This one's a little fast to play on a slide whistle. I tried my best. I do like jazz. At this club, we get out of our minds, all right? Slide whistles galore. Anyways, that is another third-party developer just belting it out of the park. You guys, maybe the, you guys remember all the good ones. You remember all the good ones, but you don't remember the crappy ones. There's a lot of crappy ones. All right, Dogen is strongly requesting that I check this one out just to make sure that I don't overlook a potentially sick as frick TurboGrafx-16 soundtrack. All right, Dogen. Hey, the pressure's on, Dogen. I turned all the music off in the club. Devil's Crush. I didn't know this was TurboGrafx. Wasn't this also a Sega Genesis game? Am I going to have to play the Sega Genesis version after and directly compare the two? That bass still sounds like farts, though, Dogen. 
It's funny how many different consoles this song that wait till the solo everyone the song has such an insane solo It's like a minute long And welcome in jazz good to see you we're doing a little frick around night tonight usually I have a nice orchestrated uh, Show on Sundays, but I got to get work done. I'm just gonna dink around for a couple hours and get the hell out of here Usually it's eight hours long Solos It's, it's funny because I've, I've mostly only heard the Sega Genesis version, Dogen. Glad to be here. Looks like a fun show. Oh, wait till you get the real deal show. Oh, buddy. Um, wait till you get the real one. Hey, are you a Discord user? If you are, no pressure. I just want you to know. Discord is my offline how, uh, my offline home, and it's over there. Check it out if you're curious. I know you're new here. I don't want to put too much pressure on you. I'm like a gym membership guy. You got to sign up for this extreme package. We're going to blast those quads. And those guys, we're gonna give you teardrop quads, buddy. I don't want teardrop quads. I want regular quads. Blast them quads. All right, uh, Dogen. This is a a fart in the wind compared to the Sega Genesis version. I'm just about to blow Dogen out of the water. Much as I love Dogen. Gonna have to blow him out of the water. The Sega Genesis version is so much better. But that is usually what I I usually say that, don't I, Dogen? Also an oddly long track, too. I fully admit, this is an excuse, but the NES had probably more insane technical development than any other system from Japan. So the PC Engine never got pushed up to its fullest. Now what Dogen is saying, everyone, is those limitations on the NES they had more time, and it was such a pivotal time in games. They're like, all right, well, they think about what uh, the Wii U. How long was that out for? Like three years? The Dreamcast, what was that, two years? Saturn was like two years? Nintendo was like 1986 to 91, hard. We're going, buddy. Don't stop. And so they had, over that time, they came up with all these techniques to make the music sound way more rich and full, full-bodied. Um, and so you see, you can actually go year by year and just hear new techniques, especially in the third-party developers. That gave a damn, you know what I mean? Genesis version is better, kinda, yeah. But they missed a few details, what, like that squirrely, glitchy part? Let's see if I can get the one here. Like, this is such a long track, it's ridiculous, Dogen. Wait, is it Devil's Crush or Devil's Course? Dogen is getting me to listen to Devil's Crush. I know it's called a few things. Oh no, Devil's Course is a golf game. Do they call it Dragon Fury? Dragon's Eye. Is it Dragon's Fury on Sega Genesis? Alright, Dogen. Sick track. That's a definitely a definite banger. Is this the one? No, Dragon Fury, not the one. It's still a banger, but I don't know what the hell. Dogen, you know the one I'm looking for. What the hell is it called on Sega Genesis? Way too much. Uh, Dragon's Fury on Jenny. All right, I'm just gonna go to the actual file. Isn't there a Dragon Fury on PlayStation 2 we were trying to play the other day? Was it one of the Omake tables? It's Dragon's Fury, Dogen. Which one am I looking for? Not Dragon's Revenge, is it? What a show we have planned tonight, everyone. Get the title track. Well, I got the whole thing loaded up here. Dragon's Fury. Let's get it all up there. Main table. Okay, it's probably main table. You're right. All right, guys. Keep in mind what Dogen just played us. And now, go. Very recognizable track. If you're steeped in it like Dogen and I are, this track comes up so much when you're a video game music nerd.
I know, I'm slowly turning into a cosmic being. When you hang around Dan too much, you just... You get untold cosmic powers. Alright. And bring back the chess beats. Uh, it's, <laughs> that one time I took a request for, uh, from Tailspin. He's like, play this track from Undertale. And then the stream just got copyright striked after. Like, oh man! I chess beated harder than anyone's ever chess beated. Man, it's barely worse than Genesis. It's, Genesis 1 sounds cleaner. But still raw. Alright, we got, gotta go back. Dogen's giving me the business. I'll give you this, it's louder. Tino knows what's up. I just saw a spider on the wall. It wasn't a spider. Oh, Young Street must have some points. Now, Young Street, guess what, buddy? Just for you, if you got a hole burning, a, if you got money burning a hole in your pocket, one quarter now, 25 bits will get you a Tino reward. I did that just for you because I thought you were absolutely out of Tino bits. Chess Beats and Deep Beat need to come back. A Deep Beat made me feel like a cam girl. That was weird. I had to put, a, put the kibosh on the deep V. Mrs. Rad, uh, Mrs. Mr. Rad needs that deep V. Mrs. Mr. Rad? That's what I should do. Mrs. Rad! Come on! Thumbnail! Let's do it! Cam Girl Radland. And then she opens it up and it's just this. What the hell? Oh, God, no! I don't know if it fits the stream, but Magical Chase is probably the god of PC Engine. No, you know what, Dogen? We let you off the hook too easy here. Dogen's in here saying, like, guys, don't worry about this TurboGrafx-16 stuff. It's sick as frick. Street Fighter TurboGrafx-16 soundtrack. <laughs> okay. Where the hell's my muscle man, Maddie Savage? He's not moving! Oh, he's locked, that's why. That feels better. Merch coming to the store soon. Show off those teardrop quads. Now that's how you swizzle. Actually, it doesn't sound as bad as I remember. <laughs> the Sega Genesis version sounds like crap, too. <laughs> Frick you, Rad. Uh, uh, Dogen, I brought it back. The Sega Genesis version is boned up, too. Why do I still have this transition on? Not as funny unless it zooms in and out. Come on! The Sega Genesis version sounds god-awful. Even the Super Nintendo version sounds god-awful. When you listen to some of the samples they used, oh my god. You should use the 3DO soundtrack. Was that one sick as Frick? Street Fighter 2 doesn't sound great on TurboGrafx-16, but it looks great. Alright, Dogen. 
Now I have to know. I remember seeing it and thinking it looked awful. Maybe I'll have to check it out. I have to open up a private window here for all my private friends in my VIP. YouTube. Let's go to the theater. Let's check it out. God damn it, I still have this transition on. It's such such a salsa version of the track. Salsa. Alright. Street Fighter 2 Turbo Graphics. I always thought the Turbo Graphics looked super sick uh, when I was a kid. I don't remember why that was. Long play. Well, they severely boned up that wood stick sample. I don't know why we put up with this crap. Was it Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition? Oh god, the title screen looks like a giant pile of horse poo. And I would know! Let me just close the other YouTube I have open. Rad, wasting a bandwidth much? Champion Edition. SNES music was always the best. Yong Street, if you go back and listen to that SNES music, though, compared to some of the good SNES soundtracks, it's pretty stinky. Like, the samples they chose are stinky. That Guile bass is actually terrible. If you try to write a song with it, scoop it out, write your own song with it, it sounds awful. Alright, that's pretty crisp. I'll give that... I'll give... Ooh, TurboGrafx sound engine was just awful. I can't really tell. Are these sprites big? I know the Sega Genesis sprites were kind of small. Why is he fighting Vega right away? What happened here? Uh, framey. Seems a bit framey, Delgan. Alright. I love how it says Balrog. Right, that's classic Japan. Vega was Balrog, and I think M. Bison was Vega. What kind of streams are we doing here? Uh, we may take some requests here. Now, Travis was in there going like, hey, arcade mode, a time splitters too. Any game, okay, if you guys want to go check it out. Uh, is Rad going to Evo every year? I've been to Evo every year since it started. I keep yelling at them to play some more Street Fighter 2, but they won't. And I keep trying to pitch my golf fighting game. No one's biting. Okay, it was a uh, two player mode here. All right, we don't need to continue with this. Down this terrible, terrible path of uh, TurboGrafx-16 games. No, we will not do that. Max Payne on GBA. It hasn't come out yet, Yong Street. You smarten up. You smarten up, young man. We'll, I'll do a whole episode about that one just for you, buddy. Uh, can you actually hack this game uh, to flip a couple of bits and get this game to run at double speed without slowdown? I don't think it's like, Dogen, why aren't you working on that in your what am I working on right now? That would be insane. All right, let's get the golf wave back here. <sighs> All right, let's let you guys all, uh, la, 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 let's see. Just haven't posted in the Discord yet. I'm working on the Turbo Graphics stuff right now. All right. It is a dark horse. Turbo Graphics, the graphics is definitely a dark horse. All right, let's see the games we've played this season. We've missed some, you know, doing the long, actually, I've played a lot of games this season. I... can I open this up on stream? No, that would be too stupid. Alright, so far this season, everyone. I do... for those watching, if there's anyone watching going like, I don't know what this show's about. This episode doesn't seem particularly tight. First of all, watch your mouth. Second of all, uh, usually I do a bunch of research the night before, and we play through all the games from a month in the past. I'm currently on the 2001s, but I started in 1995. I've done almost 90, almost 100 episodes of the show. We're on 86. Um, this season, 2001, is the season that we started doing PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube games. Oh, man, we're getting out of our minds. So far, we have played... 155 games on this season alone. Now, actually, what the hell are you posting? I want to play Swizzle Street! 
That's what I'll call my golf fighting game. Oh, man. Let's see what we've played this season. Uh, why don't I just read through some of the magazines? We'll do it that way. You guys tell me. Brad, you gotta play this one! Bad! Brad, you need to play European Kart Racer again! Club Kart European Sessions! I don't even know how the hell I got that working. It was a Sega arcade game. Saxophones. In my ear holes. Alright. We use Game Pro Magazine, for those that don't know what the show's all about, as our uh, guide. Our mountain guide. Am I allowed to say Sherpa guide? Or has that been cancelled off the internet? It's a mountain guide, right? I don't know what the hell's going on. We're allowed to say it in 2001, I'll tell you that. Alright, here's just one at random. The July episode. Now, we opted on July's episode to play through... Maybe I should go to some of the old episodes. Yeah, July was not a two-party yet. Hey, Rad, one more Turbo Graphics tune! Alright, hit me. And what is this, clips? Are you clipping? Are you clipping your balls up? Don't you dare be clipping your nipple hair, Youngstreet. You gotta keep it long. Ladies love it. All right, let me check this out. That's how you swizzle, okay. Getting swizzled out of his mind. I will not mention the system one more time. Well, if you're passionate about it, Dogen, that's one of the one of the ones that got away. You know, maybe if we ever start doing episodes backwards, or if I start at, like, 1990 and finish up those the rest of the 90s, oh, we'll definitely have to play some Turbo Graphics. That is a fact. All right, this one's for our good pal, Dogen. The Dogster. You know what? I'll open it up on actual thing. What does he mean by actual thing? Actual thing. All right. And then we'll go over here. Raw's frick. Radland Raw. I'll just keep it up there. It's Batman on TurboGrafx-16. I had no idea that they even did this. Or orchestral hits in my ear holes. All right, this is pretty fresh. This is an original track, too. Sunsoft, those fricksters. Sunsoft, for those that don't know, we're way into like, all right, all right, let's put an expansion chip on the card itself so that we can get fart bass samples for the whole soundtrack. Hell yeah. Everyone's gonna love this. And largely, they do. Not me, especially. They redid some of the NES music here, too. Worth checking out later. For that matter, what the hell's Batman on Sega Genesis? Same thing? Nineteen ninety, no, it was a different year. There was one Batman game... It had Joker on the cover. It was yellow box with Joker on the cover, and it had no pictures on the back of the box. So I never rented it. I said, I will not risk it. I will never risk renting a game without pictures on the back. What kind of maniacs would do that? You had to uh, grow up with that sun grow up with that sunsoft base. What game did you play that had sunsoft base? Mobar Mizzy! Oh, it's been a while, my dude. Uh, you came in on the ultimate frick around night. I have no plan tonight. We're going back through old magazines, maybe playing some of the games we missed that I haven't tested. Maybe it'll work. Fester's Quest. All right, let's hear some fart bass before we go on. Fester's Quest. I rented it once and couldn't get by the first level. Said, ah, to hell with it. Let's get to some sick battle themes. Fresher than I remember. That bass is completely boned up, TM bass. Is this what set you on your bass journey? Listening to this bass? The low notes sound good. Ha! 
backwards, Dogen? That's hot trivia. Maybe it planted some subconscious seeds. I mean, I think the best part about the Sunsoft here is their drums. Man, they are... Those are slamming drums. Spit all over my microphone. Let's hear the bass by itself. Now I'm, now I'm super curious. I, for about... 10 years of my life, never listened to real music at all. It was all just video game music. Video game music. I slurred that together. Um, so I have so much video game music files on my computer, it's really hard to go through sometimes. But once we get it open, we will get out of our minds. Fester's Quest, 1989. Same year as Batman. So the same year, there, Nintendo says, hey, you guys can have four games this year. Don't bone it up. And they said Batman and Fester's Quest. Batman didn't have the fart base, though, did it? Wonder why they opted to not fart it up on the Batman. Maybe they put all their fart base developers on Fester's Quest. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over there, fart it up, buddy. Hey, get this boom mic right close to your anus, fart in it, sample it, that'll be the base. Oh, well, they're using real bass here and fart bass. Oh, this is the track I remember too. That is slap bass on the NES. Alright, let's bring the triangle in. Must be the kick drum. No, I don't know what the hell they're doing with the triangle. Oh, it's part of the percussion. Couple of super high pitch ones. That's pretty fresh. Uh, you know what my reference is, TM Bass? The only fart bass I ever really truly loved on the NES was from Zombie Nation. This is a good track. I forgot this was Fester's Quest. They didn't have Dad's classic fart powder yet. I can't squeeze one out! Yeah! Careful, man! I'm down here with the boom mic. Alright, Zombie Nation. Alright, let's hear the actual fart bass. They get a good bass line going here. This one. You guys, if you ever listen to this uh, up close, some of the glitchy stuff they do here to make it sound heavy is just ridiculous. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Let me just mute some of these channels, see if I can recreate some of this. Okay, it wasn't in the triangles, or the squares. Let's hear triangle. I'll go back. How dare you? No, oh, that's the track. I think they just used this D DMC channel for bass and drums. Anyways, their bass, their drum samples are heavy as hell too. All right, we've been dinking around, uh, Desi, but uh, I need Rad to race me in Marble Madness. There's no way you got the roller pad now. How am I supposed to beat you with that, Shorty? You're gonna get a world record on that one. How the hell am I gonna beat that, Rad? You need to find a trackball mouse so I can compete. It's made of chickpeas, don't you know? Dad's classic fart powder. It'll be available in the merch store soon. Batman Return of Joker did. Uh, Batman 1 didn't because they hadn't come up with it yet. But in a year, in less than a year, they came up with this fresh as frick concept of farting their guts out all over the base. All right, if you reverse them, uh, they sound way better. Guys, let me tell you something. While we're here talking about DMC samples, you guys know that the NES had one channel Two square waves, two separate channels. That's usually what the NES was made of. Then one more for bass, which was a triangle wave. That's all your melodic channels. But they had a noise channel that could make just white noise, and they use that for drums. So here we go. Eh, eh. They got one left, the DMC channel. It could actually play tiny little samples, usually for a kick drum or a snare drum. Konami used that to great effect. 
But Zelda, of all games, might have been one of the very first games to use this sample channel for a sound effect. Now let's check the sound effect out. See if you guys can guess what sound effect was used in the sample. I have to go somewhere special for this. I have to go to the NSF Mr. Norbit archive. This thing is out of control. Zelda? Is it going to be under Zelda 1? Adventures of Link Hack? No. Zelda no Setsu. No Densetsu. How about the Adventures of Zelda? Was it just called Zelda? You rascals. It must be this one. Prototype, release version. Fine. Is this the one? I got nothing here. Not a single sound effect. Oh, it's because I muted everything. Well, that's not going to help me. All right, let's try this. Oh, this is for the Famicom disk system. Man, they don't have sound effects. I'm truly dismayed. Oh! They not do it properly back then, you a holes. All right. Well, for those that are wondering, what I was about to say was the Master Sword sound effect from Zelda One is actually a DMC sample. I always just assumed it was done with square waves, but it's actually a sample. When you shoot the lightning or the sword out of your sword, now I'm pretty sure I'm convinced, 100% convinced. Uh, the Legend of Zelda. Let's see if it's under Legend L. Legend of Zelda One. All right. Let's try that. That sound. You know what it sounds like to me? Just dropping a fork on the countertop. You know, you distort it, you get it all up in your face. That's crazy. What the hell were they doing? They're like, that's 1986, everyone, or 1987, apparently. Using D DPCM samples? That's crazy. All right, that's, no one will care about that. I probably lost everyone that was watching the show. Everyone that was already on the fence was like, nah, I'm out of here. This old man's lost it. Man, what a jam. What kind of fork do you use? The regular ones. Regular. Laser forks on the spaceship. Guys, next time you just, you drop a fork, uh, you know, you're uh, putting it next to your plate, you just drop it a little, like this high off the counter. Bling! It'll make the exact same sound sometimes. I swear. How could, how could you not be interested? I'd love to know how they made that sound. How do you guys think they made that sound? Come on. What? DMC is the coolest thing about the NES. Yeah, it's weird. One bit samples, am I right? What a jam. All right, all right. Let's look through this magazine, everybody, and see if we can pick something out. Because back in these days, I wasn't doing two-parter episodes. What I was doing instead was one-part episodes, and I might have had to skip some games that maybe people would have liked to see. Not Final Fantasy Chronicles, I'll tell you that right now. What do I want? Loading times in my Final Fantasy games? Get the hell out of here. Although the cutscenes were pretty fresh. Three times or four? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Vale. But I love it. Don't ever change. I guess, yeah, they had fully animated cutscenes here. And I think Final Fantasy even had full Final Fantasy VII style uh, rendered sequences. At least they went for it. Oh, that's what they call them? Tines? Probably four, four tiner. Okay. Yong Street, I don't see it down here. Max Payne on Game Boy Advance, not down here. I played every single one of these except for Pitfall and Earthworm Jim. The Fallen ones. I think it was only recently discovered, one or two years ago. Found out that an unused cutscene in Chrono Trigger. Did the game even have cutscenes, period? Dogen, I need more information. That was sick. The first level in this game when you're on the snowboard going down the street is sick as frick. All right, guys, I, I, I'm, I gave in. I'm gonna join the U.S. Army, even though I'm Canadian. This ad really put me over the top. Keep in mind, this was before 9/11. 
Probably would have looked a lot different after 9-11. Not talking about anime pseudo DBZ cutscenes. Which I dislike anyways. You don't like that guy's art style? I gotta tell you, back when I was a kid, that was the coolest way you could draw anything. This looks so sick. Let me find it again. Alright. Uh, the OG game did not. The remix afterward did. And they were all pretty goddamn legit, he says. And I appreciate that he censored himself. Now, what were, I don't even know what I was talking about. Desi, but you know me. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Half the time, I'm out of my mind. I just heft up on Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. The freshest beverage money can buy. Even better than trolley bright crawlers. Give you diarrhea. Just like this kid. I'm dumping out later tonight. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he is. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm two-fisting trolleys down my throat. That kid is probably 50 years old now, so it's okay to make fun of him. And he got paid handsomely for that ad in trolleys. Okay, I like his art style. It's not making Chrono Trigger look like Dragon Ball. I like his art style when it's not making Chrono Trigger look like Dragon Ball. Fair. It looks exactly like Dragon Ball. We played it. We didn't get very far into the lion part of the game, though. Just be riding a lion all over the place. On Game Boy Color as well, everyone. Just so you know. I'm making it my mission to play as many 3DO games as possible. You know what I just found out? Dogen, you'll appreciate this. There's a new emulator out there that apparently plays all the 3DO games. Or no, it's Jaguar games. And they work. When I was doing the show in 1995 episodes, I had to use this weird Russian Jaguar emulator that did not work very well. And it made me sad. That was I had to learn the hard lesson there. You mean they haven't figured out emulation entirely? Oh no. I'm not gonna go buy a Jaguar just to play the show. Let's see what it's called here. Not PT, what the hell? Big P Emu. Big P. I bet Yong has a Jaguar. Yong has played some very obscure titles on his stream, and I love it. Big P is new, lol. Exactly, it's brand new. I watched Jeff Gerstmann play some on his stream and it looked all clean. I'm like, wait a second, Mr. Gerstmann. I did that on my stream two years ago, thank you very much. And I couldn't get any of them working, although I did manage to get that kart racer they have on theirs working, and it was a frick fest. I also did play uh, the Barkley game, the basketball game on there, and it was boned up. I would love to go back and play that. Not right now, I don't... I mean, what do I care? <laughs> we'll go back to the beginning. I'll see if Big P will work right now while we read through this magazine. And then I'll take a Big P. In my pants. I hope I don't need a BIOS or something. Okay, apparently it just starts right up. And it's full screen. I can't even close it. I don't much approve of that. Big P Emu, get sensible here. Why are you full screen? What the hell are you doing? It took up my whole screen, everybody! Is there any option to not be full screen? Uh, why wouldn't you want to play these Jaguar games at full screen? I don't understand. Well, that might make it a little more difficult. Hold down this button. Or Q. Hey! Menu controls. Hold down Q, accept, accelerate. All right, Dogen. I wanted to live the dream, but they are boning it up big time. Forget it. Unless it's under information. No, video. Come on, buddy. There we go. What's wrong with you guys? Full screen my and Fanny. Borderless window. I demand window. All you have to do is, you know, stay strong, stay stern. They'll have to listen. Probably got youngsters near going, what the hell is a Jaguar? Even I don't know. No one had a Jaguar. Enter the input device. Oh, I already entered it. It's going for the RetroArch 5. Eh. I don't care about the Jag, really. Doom on Jag is kind of cool because of the palette, but otherwise it's too weird. What did they do differently? 
That sounds weird and wild. System. Mode software. Back it up. I'm just curious if those this will work, actually. Atari Karts. Is that the one I played? We're about to find out. Oh my god, it works. Why does it work so well? Even the music works. All right, well, I didn't plan for this, everyone. Wait, we're going to have to go to the Black Abyss for a second. Oh, God, no! This is actually my first time opening this thing. You guys just enjoy these tunes, all right? I got to make a scene. I'm about to make a scene on this stream. You guys don't stop messing around. Game. Jaguar. What a sick solo they got here. Now we're in the black void. It's dark in here. Dark as frick. Wouldn't have it any other way. Game. Jaguar. Window. Big P emu. Now you see what I see. <laughs> it plays so much smoother now. I gotta play that basketball game. I gotta right the wrongs of the past. Miracle Designs by Atari Corp. Dogan, how can you be not interested in this? Wait, I'm not done yet. Back to the Black Void for me. Add scene. Make a scene on your stream. No signal. Roz Frick. Welcome to your Sunday night. See, no, I'm looking for game. Boom. Boom. It's happening, dude. Alright, I don't want to play this game, though. I want to play that basketball game. Man, at least post any yes. Okay, that's kind of cool. We don't need this. Thing. Let's see if it actually works. All right, it's, it's already. What the hell? The D-pad's not working. Oh, it is working. It's just a, there's no D-pad. Oh! Actually, you know what? I only ever play the uh, Jaguar, the Atari Jaguar, because they were the only ones with balls to actually put a snowman in their kart racer, and that's why I love this game. And he's full on speed, you know? When I race as a snowman in video games, I make sure it's full speed. All right, I never go slow. I go fast, or I don't go at all. All right, this is Michael Keaton speaking. Big fan of snowmen. Building snowmen, uh, living with snowmen. You know, the whole works. Right, what the hell game am I? I don't even know what I'm playing. Atari... Atari Kart. That's the game we're playing right now. On the Jaguar. Alright, that's a hell of a console. Everyone loved it back in the day, and we're gonna love it uh, until the end of time. That's a fact. Get our minds. Three, two, one, go. I have no idea if the buttons are even set up. Circle buttons go. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This no man's out of his mind. He doesn't care who he hurts and who he has to kill along the way. He's a snowman. He's, you know, he's made of snow. He doesn't, not made of flesh and blood, you know. He doesn't have to care about you and your wants and needs. All he cares about is winning. He's got the bloodlust. Goddamn synth solos. Snowman will jack someone up. Alright, which button is fire this fresh as frick weapon? That's first place. Alright, Michael Keaton only wins when he's playing a snowman. He wouldn't have it any other way. That's another turbo boost. Oh, God, no. All right, sick baselines confirmed. Oh, that is cheese. What a cheese dink maneuver. Uh, all these power-ups are already used. What the hell cheese dink maneuvers are these? The square button did nothing. I used the item, but it didn't, it didn't do anything. I'm currently using the item. Gotta let him know you're there. Give him a love tap. Last lap, everybody. It's where we separate the men from the boys. And this is where we listen to boys to men non-stop. 
Alright, we're gonna lock this one up big time. Guys, world premiere play here. I haven't played Jaguar games since the first season of the show three years ago. And we locked it up just like that. Oh, man, that feels good. As no man to, you know what I mean? Well, I like to get it out of my mind, as you saw there. Uh, we proved it. We proved that this emulator is working. We can go back to playing Atari Jaguar games on this stream. It's what we always wanted. It's what we always meant to be. <laughs> Why the sad song? All right, let's go back to that first season. What was the basketball game called? Now, Kas Kasumi Ninja. I got all the way to the final boss and the game glitched. I didn't even get to see the ending. Double Dragon 5, Pinball Fantasies. Hover Strike. Come on, Jaguar, don't bone this up. I'm just looking through my actual game list to see what other games are. White Men Can't Jump, that's the one. <laughs> <sighs> I like how the white men can't jump property was like, hey, you know what? We bet the farm on goddamn Jaguar and it bit us in the fanny. We thought more people would play this crap. You bet wrong, buddy. All right, here, I'm going to have to go. Here, you guys don't need to see me thumb through all these uh, hot, hot games that I have. All right, uh, and let's get some tunes back here, Red. I vaguely remember that years back. I remember when I would make uh, trailers for my episodes and I just remember in one of them me yelling pinball fantasies and I guess I played it on that episode in a desperate attempt to get more people to watch my show back when it was like four people would watch and that was it and one of them must have been Dogen one was Dingle Dude uh, before I was even on uh, Twitch all right let me uh, I, I would actually make trailers for my channel and I would edit them like a YouTube piece of content what the hell am I doing? I gotta go to no intro. Gotta find my no intro Jaguar collection. I mean, obviously I have every Jaguar game ever. That's a fact. Alright, don't worry. We got hot jams, everybody. Sorry, Jaguar. White man can't jump. Woody Harrelson bet all the money he earned in their tournament that he could do a slam dunk. And Wesley Snipes said, don't do it, man. Don't make that bet. He's like, no, I'm gonna do it. And then he couldn't dunk and he had to just give Wesley Snipes all his money. <laughs> Wesley Snipes was hardcore. I'm sorry, buddy. You bet all the money. I didn't. I told you not to do it, but you did it anyways. I didn't tell you to do that crap. This is insane. If this works, guys, we are righting the wrong of so much of the the past on this show. Shorty, if you're around, change the game. No one is happier about this than me. Who in the hell was working on the graphics here? Let's play ball, baby. Yo, what the hell game is this? Let's play ball, baby. Man, it didn't work when I played it three years ago, and it's working now. Coming at you. Oh, Desi, thank you, buddy. Bad game, TM? Hell yeah. Or you meant good game, right? Sorry, I, I assume that was just a glitch, right? Ouch. Ouch. You hurt me, man. Ooh. 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 Get off me, chunk. Hey, chump! Don't bet your life savings on this slam dunk that you know you're not gonna make! Chump! White. White Unity. White Unity? Is that what it's saying in the... What the hell is this game? We gotta hear that again. Can I turn this up? What the hell are they saying? What? Maybe it's a special P big PMU version. <laughs> what? I, you heard it too, right, Dogen? A lot of angry white men made this game. <laughs> hey, we gotta give people time to filter in, right? They're gonna see the white men can't jump. I think there's a new movie coming out, isn't there? We're gonna get that hot demo. That new Zoomer demo. White. Black. Okay. White. White. Black. Black. Oh, it's black white unity. Okay, thank you. All I heard was white unity going, what the hell game am I playing? I have to turn this off. Alright, tournament mode. Obviously we're gonna go for the big tournament here. We're gonna be Jules and Freaky, Saber and Rush, Mace and Stress. Stress sounds like she's out of her mind. Dr. Ed, Slag. It's kind of a missed opportunity here to add the guys from the end of the movie. You remember when they're like, 
Those two guys, I, one of them's name was Duck, I think. The best guys ever, they're coming back, and if you pay $500, they'll play you with street hoops. Black, white, unit. Hack and Sully. Sully looks like she just woke up. How about ready to slam dunk? Oh, I gotta be Tower. Yo, here's your stake, kid. Just remember, after you win the tournament, I expect it back with interest. You talking to me, Tower? I'll frick you up, man. All right, who the hell are we gonna smash here? $500 to take out the Psycho Squad? Chump change. Oh man, I'm gonna get rabies. And Twitch! Man, bikini babes, are you out of your mind? Let's play ball, baby! Let's play ball, baby, let's go! Oops! Oh yeah, Tower is not freaking around. You out of your mind? You see how big Tower is? All right, you gotta check it, take it back. Hoops! Tower all day, buddy. Dunk it! Watch it! Yo, watch it! Tower's playing. Tra Big jam. Traveling. No, that's not a travel. Oh, man. Oh, goddamn, man. Tower has a... He's poking that fanny way out there. Come on, I need to set a pick. What the hell are you doing over there? Punching that guy. All right, fine. We gotta go threes all day. Come on, Tower. You gotta want it, buddy. We bet, man, if we don't get them with interest, we're gonna, they're gonna take our thumbs. Chill out. Tower, just dunk it. What the hell? You're tall as the rim. Here it comes. Yo, Tower stole it. Tower is hardcore. No. She pushed me. Out. Out. Don't push Tower. Open. I'm open. I'm gonna push her so hard. I'm gonna push her so hard, our kids are gonna feel it. I'm open. Come on, pass it to Tower. Oh, man. Oh, man, steal. All right, tower's going long bombs all day. Airball. That's all. Yo. That's assault. Yo. Hey, yo, man, that's ripped. Uh oh, they're bringing it back. How'd they get two points? I thought we had two. <laughs> take, take oh, it back, man. tower. You forget how street hoops are played. Coming at you. Destroy her. Coming at you. All right, pick tower. I don't want to be this little a hole over here. Tower all day. All right, we're we're two teaming her, and she still dunked it on us. All right, that's fricked up. I don't know what the hell your problem is, lady. All right, clearly we need to find turbo mode. Watch it. What? Watch it, okay? I'm trying to play basketball with all my friends. There. How's it feel? Open. Big. Ah, she pushed me. Oh man. Oh man, she pushed me. Oh man. Out. Come on, tower. Oh, what day? What button is passed to tower? I'm open. Oh, all right. You just stole it big time. Don't you drain threes on me, buddy. Tower's the only one that drains threes on this court. All day! Yeah. Bucket. Ah. Oops! I'm open. Get off me. Oh man, the drum solos are getting out of control in this track. Tower, get up, buddy! Use those long levers! Ah, come on. You gotta take it back. You can't just be out of your mind. I, I don't think I even have a pass button. Here it comes. Yeah, here it comes, buddy. Open. Back to old high tower here. All right, the pass mechanic in this game is pretty realistic. If you try and do a stupid pass, it will not give it to you. Uh, work, All right, how the hell do I do sick jams like that? Yo. God damn it, she's steel crazy. Get off me, chunk off the rim. All right, don't relent, Yo. tower. You need. Uh. You need to win this one. Mm. For all the street hoopers out there. God damn it. She's pushing everyone. You're too slow. You're too slow. Don't freak around. Don't freak around Tower. Get off me. Man, if I could, I would have this exact same haircut that Tower has. Yo. Mm. My hairstyle doesn't really uh facilitate that. Probably be a lot of upkeep. Uh-oh. They're getting hands on the rim now. I can't even pass it. I don't know what turbo mode is. All right, it's traveling. They're not gonna call it. That was close. That was close. They almost called travel on me there, but they didn't. Ouch! Ouch! Why are you pushing me? Yo! All right, Tower, you got to do some. Damn it! While I'm laying on the ground, you do something. Damn it! Oh, watch it! Oh! Oh! All right, Tower, you got to get to work, buddy. Get off me, chunk! Get off me! Oh man! All right, Tower, this is your sh big shot, buddy. Uh. Mm. Oh. Rejected. Pricked it. Work, 
being this good. It is hard work being this good. Open. Tower, what the hell are you doing, buddy? Rosie Perez is never going to give you any money. Not with this chump style play. Get off me. Uh. Watch it. Hey, watch it. Out. She's draining threes all day. Watch it. Out. Take it back. You take that back, Tower. Upsy doodle. Drainer. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, watch it. Upsy doodle. Air ball. Go, Upsy go. doodle. Chump. It's off. Watch it. Watch it. Get off me, chump. We cannot drain a three to save our ass. At least I'm hitting the rim now. Oh, there we go. Six times the charm. Howdy, amigos. Devin, get in here, buddy. Guess what? I just found out there's a way to play Jaguar games. Now, early in this show's history, I couldn't... Oh, drain it all day. I couldn't get the 3D or the Jaguar games working. They just would not work for me. And so now we're right in the wrongs of the past. Jesus Christ. Here it comes. Yo, here it comes. Maybe don't get pushed over all the time, buddy. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You're too slow. You're too much of an a-hole. All right, here, we found the strategy here. Just run over here, drain a three. If you miss, tower's gonna go get it. Man, I'm the king of breaking video games. <laughs> Just, it takes a while, but once you drain it. Oh, tower was due. Jeez, watch it. What the hell's wrong with you, watch it. Coming at you. Coming at you. Get off me, chump. Hey, chump. You're too slow. Oh, she punched me good. God damn, you gotta rip it up. Almost. No, 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 no. Oh. All day. Doesn't count why I checked it. Here it comes. Open. I punched her lights up. Yo, take it. Oh, chill out. Chill out. What's wrong with you? Out. All right, Tower, this is yours, buddy. Oh, man, she's going after Tower. How the frick dare you do that, lady? Go for it. Oh, come on. Ain't going out like no punk. Not quite. All right, here we go. Open. It's your pass to me, Tower. I'm open. No sweat. No sweat. We're bringing it back, dudes. I don't know if you know this. Are you winning, son? Vale, I'm about to just lock this up. Tower, push her, goddammit. How bad do you want this championship? How bad do you want Rosie Perez to not know you lost all the money? We well, still had eight minutes left. What the hell's going on here? Oh, it was first to 21. All right, looks like we lost. Looks like they're going to take my thumbs. How yeah, about that loan, buddy? Oh, God damn it, no. God damn it. Where's my black white unity? He drained one, all right. That feels good, everybody. Feels good to get that one on the big board. For real. Oh, man. Play ball, baby. I'm open. Yo, take it. Ooh. That is amazing. No one's ever played White Man Can't Jump on stream before. Locked it up. Man, Tower was due. All right. What kind of fork you use? A dead, oh, that's an old chat. Man, I hate when the chat is all the way back. All right, Devin, welcome in, buddy. You missed it last night, Devin. But we did. Get rad as frick. The producers watched Rad on VHS, and it was fresh as frick. I don't, were you there? Actually, I don't remember who was there. I thought I was going to have to watch it by myself. I watched, like, the first, I was sitting there watching it for, like, 20 minutes. No one came in. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm just going to watch it myself. What do I care? Tempest 2000? Is that a uh, Atari Jaguar game? Did Capcom design this camera angle? Desi, you nailed it, dude. All right. Go back to set game. Set game. Retro. Locked it up. Uh, it is. All right, well, Vale, if you insist. If you insist, we just lock up this big board. Then on the big games list after that, it'll just like... Rad's played everything. There's nothing he's ever missed. I know. All right, big P emu. Coming at you. Look at this screen. Oh, God, no! Rich White House, you animal. I'm just here for the President's Day special. Scrags, get in here, buddy. 
Is there a President's Day special going on right now and I was not aware? Actually, I just wanted to show you guys that. You don't have to watch me go through the menu. Nothing fun about that. Although if Jeff Gerstmann can do it, surely I must be allowed to as well. Tempest 2000. What the hell veil is out of his mind? I wonder if they have any golf games. Next up, after Tempest. Taking requests here. There is a, there we go. Vale, let's lock it up, buddy. They also have Tiny Toon Adventures Prototype. You guys ever watched Tiny Toons recently? That show was so manic, it's almost unwatchable now. It's like just bar bar berating you and barraging you. It's so manic. Let's see if it's anywhere near as manic as Tempest 2000. What the hell's the time signature here? All right, Vale, don't you dare tell me you and your brothers also had a Jaguar. There's no way in hell. Excellent. Excellent. We better go Tempest 2000. Uh, Jaguar and 3DO had no idea how to do menus. This was the default option. Second from the bottom, everybody. All right, no bonus. Up and down. We'll select level. All right, I'm zipping through space as we speak. Oh god, the controls are so crappy. You'd think they would be so much better than this. Got you! I didn't know that's what you were trying to do, tickle my fanny. You get your hands yourself, buddy. My eyes are up here. Alright, you basically have to hold the button down. You can't, uh... You don't want to just feather it and go one at a time. You gotta force around big time. Well, if these red things get up here, they're gonna tickle my fanny if I try and go past them. That was as hard as hell, Vale. Right. Did I miss the power up? Yes. I don't know what is a power up and what's a fanny tickler. There's no way to know. Christ. All right, good thing I supercharged my super zapper. All right, this is getting fresh. Vale, is there any significance to this game that you would pick it so quickly? He didn't waste a single second. Yeah, Tempest 2000. All right, no fanny ticklers today. All right, we got one fanny tickler up there. He's coming for me, dudes. Do I have any button to zap him? I do. All right, I zapped his fanny tickling ass. Right back into the Stone Age. Shot you! Tickled you in the fanny! Goddamn. Get hyped. Dang, this is lit. That does actually pull it off. Although the camera moving is kind of boning me up. If it didn't move, it would be a little easier. What the hell is this big green line here? Oh, no, fanny ticklers galore. I don't have any more superpowers, guys. Oh, God. Maybe he won't come and tickle me if I stay over this corner. God damn this high octane. Jump enabled. What button is jump? All right, I found out what button jump was, and it was not the one you expect. Shorty, get in here, buddy. 100% daycare run. Done. Speed run. Long play. Did you get your son to do, uh, six sharp turn commands? Dad, hard turn right! Hard turn left, Dad! Son, you don't have to yell. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm boned up, dude. I'm hosed. Look at the fun bags on that hose hound. I'm hosed! 
Why don't I just stay here? I'll just beat the level anyway. I don't know how I can... Zappo! There's no game pick for this game. I don't think a lot of the Jaguar games will have any picks. All right, let's see what the next level is. It's the same stinking level. Yeah, but this one's not as big of a V. Not as big of a deep V. Well, what the hell's the point? You're not gonna give me a giant deep V. What the hell am I playing? Ah! What the hell am I playing? I don't have to do anything. I just sit in the corner and beat the game. Speed run. Yeah, but his lefts and rights get mixed up. <laughs> we go into a lot of ditches. Dad, I don't know. It, uh, right! Turn right, Dad! Son, that's an ocean. Yeah, turn right. I don't like this, son. All right, hey, I didn't load this game up just to play like a pansy. We're going hard and heavy. Death mobile or death beam. You get basically one of those a level, I think. All right, give me a new level here. I'm ready for the biggest challenge you got. <laughs> Music is pretty goddamn fresh. Here we go. For those that don't know, Tempest was an arcade game that was basically this exact same thing. I think it was vector art, though. That is really small and hard to see. Oh god, these little rascals are coming after me. I don't even think I can get them. If I stay still, I can get them, maybe. Particle lasers! Get the hell off my triangle. Get off my triangle. That's how Harrison Ford would have said it. Uh-oh, this is bad. Oh man, avoid the spikes. We did it, dudes. We locked it up. All right, I need hexagons or bigger. Nice. I got two super zappers. Half pipes, brah. Those gnarly half pipes in there. Freaking stale fish. Freaking gnarly grabs here. Fanny ticklers galore. Do I get any power ups for shooting these green lines down? No. Super zapper. This is basically just a mod scene game. No! This is premier play. Oh god, no! I thought I had two super zappers. I got Jack Frick for super zappers. Ah, what does it matter? Stay in the corner. Well, I can zoom in, dude. Eat electric death fanny, take that. Alright, last level, then we're moving to another Jaguar game. I only play oval level. You can zoom all the way out or zoom all the way in. I don't see how you could fail with this strategy. He tickled me in the fanny. He was tickling me! What movie am I referring to? He didn't say tickling me in the actual movie. Hey! Mm. Root beer tap on acid, man. I need that root beer. I got one life left. One to my name. Eat electric death. Oh, that's what you're saying. I thought you were just really getting into this. You're quoting the game. The movie I was referencing was Ravenous. Remember when he wakes up at nighttime and says, He was licking me! All right, I gotta stay still. Now all these ravenous fanny ticklers are on the prowl. Oh, damn, I got nothing. I can't stop that guy. But I thought I was under the impression if you stay deathly still, they won't tickle your fanny. That one's never gonna stop hurting. Not for one second. All right, feeling good about this. Do I dare just take Kasumi Ninja all the way down and beat it and get the ending? That one was like one of the first episodes ever and it boned me up. I'm like, I spent so long beating this and it never, I didn't even get to see the ending. And I had to use save states, it was so fricked up. I'm kind of impressed everyone. The Jaguar is the console that got away. 1995, Atari's like, hey, we see what PlayStation's been working on. We gotta get out there first. 
We gotta get out there first with our CD-based console, 64-bit. True 64-bit. Not actually. All right, we're going back to retro here. Zip. Set game. Retro, that is a hot command. Let's see what we got here. I basically have every Jaguar game. I bought them all off eBay. Uh, load software. Let's see what we got here. Do we have golf games? That's right. Is there a golf game on the Jaguar? Because that is really what we need to do first. Jack Nicholas Cyber Golf? Prototype? This might be out of my hands, everybody. Jack Nicholas Cyber Golf. <laughs> this is one step away from a golf fighting game, and I'm on board. Lock it up. And a hush falls over the crowd. Following playthrough of Cyber Golf is produced to enable the game flow and key allocations to be assessed. The graphics are not intended to be final graphics, but are intended to be an accurate guide of what will appear, where, and the general style to be used. It is important to note that the text speech boxes will only provide an indication of what will be said as full CD quality speech in the finished product. Similarly, the static presenter displays uh, are there to represent the full motion video footage, which will be included at the time. So this is you at E3 or something playing this, like, all right, show me what you got. Prototype, let's see if it's any good. This is before it was even Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas Cyber Golf on Jaguar. Jack Nicholson and Nicholas Cage in Cyber Golf. Hey, don't forget all that sick mod scene acid base. Jack Nicholas Cyber Golf. I spelled it wrong. Oh no, I got it right. Hot jams! Ah, oh, we're jamming, dudes. By the way, everyone, how's the audio sounding tonight? I was trying to dink around with it last night. I don't know what the hell. I might have boned everything up. 1994B fricked. I'm just noticing I'm clipping the hell out of my mic. No way this game is found. Audio sounds too good to be on Turbo Graphics. Not enough fart bass. <laughs> this is gonna be full motion video eventually. The Murfield Village Country Club, a par 72 private course. What the hell? Your cyber golf simulator will enable you to enjoy the game of golf on Murfield Country Club using start state of the art technology, cyber technology, cybering with your friends. And now for a few words from our creator, this fine course himself, Jack Nicholas. Hey everybody, welcome to my game. I teleported down here from space. I'm ready to get on my mind. Okay, now's your chance to take on Murfield Village Course and see what I, you can do, buddy. We're watching JTV here. I'm gonna be Johnson. I need that Johnson handicap. You know, when you're sw when you're swinging a third golf club, you need a Johnson handicap. That is inappropriate. I got a handicap of 14. It's a dog bone right. Oh, look at Jack Nicholas's fanny. Go, buddy! Did I get on the green? Yep, bop! That'll play. Cue that song. Cybergolf demo. The following play. That was it? What did I get an eagle? <laughs> This is me at the E3 demo. Woo! Yes! Woo! Sick. I want to play.
play this game every day for the rest of my life. I want this song playing at my funeral. All your relatives. Why'd he pick this one? I think we can do a little better. That was the prototype. I guess we just got to play the demo now. Oh, it's on, dudes. Title screen. All right, I need more cyber in this game. I'm yeah, not. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, actually. You know, I, the unfortunate thing about golf is that they just never play in the snow. And, uh, you know, I'm always just more interested in playing golf or playing snowman than I am with playing golf. I like to give my snowman instead of little twigs for arms, I give him golf clubs. You know, a little golf hat, golf club arms, you know, give him a little scarf. Uh, he's my caddy. You know, he's a pretty bad caddy, actually. You know, he doesn't really help me. When the chips are down, you know, you need your caddy to really give you some good advice. And he just keeps telling me, get sick as frick. And that doesn't help, you know. Goddamn. Yeah! Oh, man. Oh, Michael Keaton must not be doing anything tonight. He seems to be zapping into my brain a lot. Guys, here we go. Wind speed. Strong. Dun, dun, play shot? What in the hell, Jack Nicholas? Doesn't even have any hot jams. Wow. We just hit a 303 yard shot. Yes! E3! Two no, 1995. Oh man! Golf games never looked so good. Why the hell is this the demo? This came out after the prototype because they have years next to them. This was 1995. Okay, here I am trying to put on the sickest show on all of Twitch. And Jack Nicholas is giving me the straight business. I expected more, Jack Nicholas. Frankly, you put your name on a product like this, just a giant pile of poo. Sick your attitude. The Jaguar needed golf. That's why it went under. Let's be honest here. I don't see any other golf games. Fred really outdid Jack on this one. Yeah, exactly. Golf Magazine presents 36 Great Holes. God damn it. Starring Fred Couples. I always keep it close to me. I keep one here on the desk and one under my pillow. Just in case. Who needs tunes on the show? I'll just do this. Mopar Mizzy. Is music supposed to be playing right now? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> that was it. That was it for golf. I'm just looking for golf. I just want to play some golf. They had no golf on the Jaguar. Ah, oh, this is upsetting. They did have Kasumi Ninja, though. As you just saying, like, do you want to play good games? Like, Zombies Ate My Neighbors on SNES? Lock it up. I don't know why I would play that one when I'm sitting here looking at all these fresh as frick Jaguar games. Like Troy Aikman football. Oh, Supercross 3D was a real banger. <laughs> that one worked though. That one worked. Slam Racer. There's a lot of prototypes here. Protector Special Edition. Protector Non-Special Edition. Lucky Duck in Hollywood hijinks. Prototype. Oh, God. Commandos 2 on PC. I have a shorty straw. You'd basically have to give me verbatim advice on what to do because I cannot stop crawling on my belly and punching people unconscious. That is all that the game is. And you know it is, shorty straw. 
Fever Pitch Soccer, Evolution, Dino Dudes. Doom, Defender 2000, Cyber Morph. Club Drive? Oh, man, I thought for a second that was like... Get the clubs out there. Bubsy and Fractured Fury, Furry Tails. What about Brutal Sports Football? I hope it's as brutal as they're making it out to be. And Brett Hull Hockey. All right, we got to see what Brett Hull Hockey is all about. I have to know. Wow, they actually have the Super Nintendo tracks here. Brett Hull, coming at you live. This is the darkest episode we've ever done. Good evening and welcome to Brett Hall Hockey. Hell yeah. I'm Al Michaels. The Michael Quebec Nordiques Chicago are in this game. Going up against Quebec in what should be a very interesting game. <laughs> Am I playing this? You don't get to pick which guy you want to be. And the we'll pick the guy you're going to be. Where's Al Michaels? Or Mitchells? Michaels. Start. Start that game. Or doing the East vs. West All-Star game. All right, well, fine. This is so old that Gretzky's in it. Yaramir Yager is still playing. Dynacam is turned on, everybody. Auto saved. You don't want to miss all this hot content. Good evening and welcome to Brett Hall Hockey. I'm Al Michaels. Tonight we'll see East I'll lay it on me, Al. Stars going up against Western All Stars in what should be a very interesting game. I don't think it's been that interesting because I don't know what button moves 99. anything. Wins the faceoff. He <laughs> Come on Eric Lindros. Oh, I beat the hell out of that guy. Oh, I got a penalty. All right, I've been playing the game for less than three seconds. I already got a penalty. Eastern All Stars zone. <laughs> this is great commentary. <laughs> All right, already. 15. Wins the faceoff. Faceoff. The shot. Hits 77. That's got to hurt. Is that Paul Coffey? I don't know who 77 is. Six. At center with the puck. Here we Six. go, dudes. At center with the puck. And center with the puck. Six. One more time. Loses it. Who is this? Six. Who does this sound like? Puck. There's been a slashing. Oh, it's Ray Bork. He was the second highest rated player in NHL 95. So. 96 overall. Sergei Fedorov with the top player at 99 overall. Well, here we go. Meh, 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 meh. All right, the game doesn't need to give me this much time between. 91 wins the draw. 20 picks up the loose putt. You blew it, buddy. Oh, it's a shot on net. And you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. We've learned this. The game seems to be glitching a bit. 22 with the puck in the neutral zone. Brett Hull should be ashamed of himself. There's the shot. And there's a delayed penalty called against Eastern All-Stars. I don't remember who Bob... Is it Bob Leach? Well, it looks like we're shorthanded here. It's fine. I came here for a challenge. Face off. He shoots. Hits 12. No, you don't, goddammit. I'm out of my mind. I'm a lunatic, confirmed. What? You don't give me a penalty for that? Feeds it to 25. Intercepted. No! Deflected in. Western All-Star. This is an All-Star goalie? He just slowly watched it roll in there. Is this PS1 emulation? No, this would be Jaguar emulation. Worse, says Jesse. He's like, I don't even know why I'm watching this. Worse. Jaguar. For all I know, it glitched in the real version, too. Uh, Devin, apparently it, it was made aware to me that the Jaguar had a new emulator that basically can play them properly. Now, I'm right in the wrongs of a lot of the past episodes I did. God damn it. Where I tried to play Jaguar games and they didn't work. Well, now that we're a shorthanded, we might as well just keep getting penalties. What do I care? Go, we go, we go or we don't play at all. Uh-oh. Go. There it is. Go for it, 88. Eric Lindros. Smash him, fool. Five passes to 15, 19, can't contain, 19, passes to, blew it right by him, a power play goal by Western All-Stars. That's Shanahan. 25, wins the face-off. Eight, up to 20. No! He shoots. 
No, don't you dare. All right, good. Way to clear it, Eric. Shot on net. I'm just going to drill the goalie. What do I care? I didn't do anything. Ray Bork's out of his mind. Low shot. 25 keeps it God damn it, these guys are Seven the ultimate all stars. Picks up the loose puck. They're stealing the puck so fast, I can't do anything. Loses it. 55. All right, sir, X in. is not passed. What button is passed? 25. My ass handed to me here. 77. Loses it. Don't you watch it walk in the net again? Who the hell's in net? Oh, come on. I don't know. NHL hits 02 was right there. That's true. We don't have a tiny Keaton. This is. The like, yeah, we couldn't. We barely got the game to work as it is. Make creative characters. You out of your mind? All right, which button is passed? Put the puck in the All right, circle is passed. All right, we got to get that off the screen. Slap shot. All right, all right, we're on the big board. That was an official shot on net. I'm going to just drill this guy. What the hell am I getting penalties for now? All right, we're in the in the hole now. We might as well just drill these guys. Interference penalty. And there we have face off in the Eastern All Stars zone. I hate the Eastern All Stars. I'm a Western boy. That's gotta hurt. I don't know any of these goofy characters. The end of the first period. The score at the end of the first period. Western All Stars three. Eastern All Stars nothing. Story of my life. We're rolling deep tonight, everyone. If you don't want to see more Jaguar games, you just got to check out now. Because we have to see brutal sports football now. The hits are coming. By Telegames. It's going to be our big break, everybody. We finally made a game. And we chose Jaguar as our avatar. Hey, you bet the, uh, bet the house on the wrong pony. Brutal Sports Series Football. Nineteen ninety four. Get in here right now. How is this not Twitch front page material? I know. Get that off the screen. Amateur hour. All right, this one's filling me with a little more confidence. Should be the Slayers or the Thugs. I don't know. There's not a big difference between them here. The proudest of the teams. They jealously guard many trophies they have won over the years. They're also the only ones with the balls that have a horseshoe haircut. Let's be honest, everyone. We want hottest frick action here. All right, let's see some goddamn gore here. Oh, it's game on already? Watch it. Come on, watch it. That's how we play. Nice, go. Nice! No! They stole it from me. What a thieving, conniving a-hole. All right, this is not their number one guy. I didn't think he'd dive at me. On net! What a save! On net! In! Lateral! In! Out of hell with it. Hey, this isn't that bad. This would be a good rental. Oh man, he gave me the business. What's one of my guys doing standing in their net? Pass it up. Don't you be diving. Damn, this goalie is out of his mind. And I got a weapon now. Oh, they got weapons too. Every hell shank you. Get out of the back of the net and play the game the way it's meant to be played. This is good D. They're playing strong D here. Solid D. Solid D by the blue team. All right. Red team wants it. Deking everyone out. Shot on net. In. Shot on net. In. Big miss. They uh, choked under pressure there. 
They don't know which button changes character, so they can't do anything. Oh, there we go. Hey! No! All right, he got scared. He threw the ball away. He threw a pipe at his own teammate. All right, now we're, we're going to see what the blue team has, has to offer. First time the blue team has been deep in deep water. Oh, big dive by the goaltender. You're getting stuck, fool. It. It. Damn it. We got to lock this one up for all the boys. Oh, man. For the boys. They are way faster than you, Rad, but they don't want it as bad as I do, Desi. See this? You see how hard this gray-haired old man wants it? All right, pass it to no one. That's a great uh, cunning strategy. No one will see that coming. Oh, God, that's a sick strategy. Which button jumps up in the air like that little rascal did? Oh, God, I got no D. All right, I just shot him. Did I bring a gun on the... Whoopsies. Oh, get in there. No, oh, man, I should have turned it off when I had the lead. Is the blue team slower than the red? No, they just don't want it as bad. I'm telling you. Can I just tackle the ref? Get that drum beat in here again. Oops, yeah, pass it right to the blue guy. That's head games, you know, you gotta keep the head games up. Alright, just punch him in the face. It's fine. Oh, oh man, what a dive. What the hell are you doing to my guy? My boy. Or the boys. Up and at him. Up and in. Not today, buddy. Not on my watch, goddammit. I'm locked in. What a cunning save. What the hell? What guy am I? Oh, man. This guy wants it better than anyone's ever wanted it. how it feels to play this game. Uh-oh. Hell no, you don't. Lateral. Lateral. Ooh, guy, you gotta want it. Alright, in, and then smack this guy down. There we go. For the boys. Alright, for the boys. For the boys. Alright, tie game, buddy. What you gonna do? Next point wins. Next point wins. Hell yeah. Oh, God, no! Solid, solid strategy. Solid passing play. Oh, God. That was a hell of a kick they just did there. No, he's gonna shank me! Oh, God. Get someone down here! Get someone to help! See that? Solid strategy. I had to go for the big long bomb here. Upsy doodle. In we go! For the love of God. In we go! In we go! The high pressure situation. I am a tiny bit faster than these idiots. How in the lord? How in the world did this frickster? Hey, the boys! We locked it up for the boys. World premiere brutal football play. Brutal sports football. Johnny, get in here, buddy. We're having a frick around night, so I found out I could play a bunch of Jaguar games, and that's what I'm doing, goddammit. For better or worse. 1994's Jaguar. Atari Jaguar. This is the kind of song that will uh, make you want to throw your Jaguar in the bathtub while you're in it. Plugged in. Welcome in, Johnny. You know what that means. We haven't been playing a lot of tunes because I've been going so rapid fire, but you know if Johnny's going to come in here, it really makes you remember. The Roots. Welcome in, Johnny. Hey, Johnny, did you see the world premiere of the Wii on the last episode? You rascal. We locked it up. You said, hell no, will I watch you play a YouTube video of Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2. No way in hell. You helped lock it up, buddy. Nice, let's play some Jag. And then let's watch some Jag, the TV show that you turned off all the time as a kid. Oh, that's not Simpsons. All right, there's, believe it or not, everyone, there's not a lot of Jaguar games that seem worth playing. 
Arena Football 95. Alien vs. Predator could be kind of fresh. Air Cars. Eh. Kasumi Ninja. It's always there, ready to rock everyone. I'm sure the Game Boy Color game is a banger too. Or the was there a Game Boy Color game? Board? There's also everyone. There's a Bubsy game on the Jaguar that I'm sure is awesome. I cannot confirm or deny the awesomeness. There's also a Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam game. Eh, what the hell? I'm playing Barkley Shut Up and Jam. It's like all sports games on the Jaguar. Armpit hair, the game. I thought it was just an intro, but no, that is their snare sample. <laughs> it's kind of trailed off there. Never mind, failed joke. Alright, Devin, you're off the hook. I'm the only one who's allowed to flub jokes on this show. This whole episode's a flub joke. Welcome, everyone. Music to my ding dang ears, says Devin. You guys remember Charles Barkley's right, uh, right guard or speed stick commercials? Anything less would be uncivilized. That is a great commercial slogan. New game. One minute quarters. No teammate control. I didn't approve of that. It's pass shoot control. All right, Barkley's on my team. A round mound or rebound. Who's the dead man who put this in the game? Right, it doesn't let you move one to one. I don't know why that was a thing. No! Yep. I'm playing against the greatest Pong player of all time here. No! Oh! Why does he get to move super speed? I get to move slow as. All right, doesn't matter. We're locking up. This game has some loading times. I wonder if they mo capped Barkley for this. Barkley loves Pong confirmed. Yeah, he insisted. Put Pong in the game. I don't care if Namco sues you. Put it in the game. Shut up and jam, he said. He's putting on speed stick all over the place. Sir Charles, I forgot that he would call. <laughs> Look at that, that prance he has. I don't know if this is running at actual speed that the game was supposed to run at. Do I get to control him or what the hell? He's like half controlling himself. Why am I playing against the cowboy? Guys, what the hell is going on here? The game kind of plays itself. I don't even think I hit a button there. Am I even playing the game? I mean, I was vaguely pseudo playing Pong. All right, it's going too fast for me to tell if I'm even doing anything. Shoot it, Barkley! All right, Barkley ain't doing Jack Frick. Oh, there's a fast forward button. Isn't there? It's about how much we have budgeted. <laughs> It's funny, when your console is so jacked up that that which we just saw, I can't tell if that's an actual game or if that's just boned up. It's hard to explain my pure bliss right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want you to play the game. You just get to get a sense of it. We'll play it for you. Just watch us play this game. You, got, you bought the speed stick first, right? You got to play the speed stick game. That you're, you, this is the control of the hot new peripheral that all the kids are buying. Good shot, Barkley! You don't have to play the game. That game was a pure whiff. Are you kidding me? That was just high octane action. I don't know what you were seeing, buddy. Time for Bubsy's furry son of a... Hold on, what is this even called? I don't even know what the hell I'm picking. Bubsy in Fractured Furry Tales. All right, if you say so, Bubsy. I don't much approve, but if you say so, Bubsy. Do I have to go all the way down again? Fine, Bubsy. I don't want to miss that hot intro. I 
just go to retro. No one's even gonna watch this if I I'm going this fast. Hot solos action here. All right, you know what I'm gonna do actually. Over to Twitch. I'm gonna change my stream info to Jaguar Games Only. Getting Roz Frick. Bubsy, you are such a rascal. Oh sure, let's all torch the Bubster. I liked Eek the Cat <clears throat> a lot as a kid. Bubsy was riding on the coattails of Eek the Cat so hard. Eek the Cat always said it never hurt to help, but then he always got hurt helping people. I have a attack here? Alright, here's Bubsy in a nutshell. You want to see what the big appeal was to Bubsy? Standing still when you rent the game and seeing if he has an animation. A couple of different ones, maybe? No. Alright, is it appropriate that you're playing all these mid-90s games? He's telling you, play the game! Uncle Grandfather, get the hell in here, buddy. Plus his girlfriend was fat. Annabelle, Miss Annabelle? She was just thick, that's all. Was there an episode where they went in Sharky the Shark Dog's house and it was actually big as hell in there? Alright, is it probably that you're playing all these mid-90s games? I just got my Saturn working, so I've been playing the best games from this period. Well, you definitely, Devin. I don't think you were around when I was playing Saturn games, but you gotta play Virtua Hyalide. Hyde Light. Someone, I think it might even been Yong Street, said that it was, or maybe it was Dogen that said it. One of you guys with the red names at the time said uh, it was actually like an RPG built off a golf game engine. So like the open world aspect is like, well, what if you could just walk around in a golf game and it was really choppy and crappy? I think I played it twice on my stream for some reason. Uh, Jesus, these bunnies are out of their mind. Oh, sure. Let's all torch the bumpster. Uncle Grandfather's like, I think so. I think they did go into Sharky's house once and it was big. Man, that Eek the Cat, the Tick combo. Saturday mornings were out of their mind back then. What, you can't touch the cookie? All right, it's getting hot and heavy in here. I'm getting surrounded by dingleberries. This is in no way a passable game. Imagine if your parents bought you this. Can you imagine asking for this? Oh, Mom, it's 64-bit. We went from 8-bit right to this, or 16-bit right to this. Hot drum solo action, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, hovering over the edge animations. Bubsy, watch out, buddy! Okay, but why, Bubsy? Why are all these things floating in the middle of it nowhere? It just doesn't make sense. All right, I don't even know what I got. But I got nine minutes to lock this up. I have the world's worst floating mechanic. That's that's not great. Oh, sure. Let's the show with the caveman and dinosaurs was good too. The terrible thunder lizards. It was good. You remember those two cavemen? Man, they had some of the funniest voice acting. I think one of them was just Dan Cantonella or Homer Simpson. I did think the terrible lizards were pretty damn funny. That was just a good man, Saturday mornings back then. You'd, and then you'd get to watch X Men. God damn! It's like X Men, the Tick. Eek the cat and whatever else they threw at me, like I don't know, the Super Dave cartoon or something. It was always the other one was just kind of crappy. And one time they put on Defenders of Di the balloon got me. Oh sure, let's all Defenders of Dinatron City. Hell yeah, you gotta activate the buttons on the top platforms before you can advance. What? Are you actually watching the game? I don't know what the hell I've been doing. I got 25 spheres. It's gotta be worth something. The buttons you said. Is that a button? This looks like a delicious fruit punch. This is so Bubsy. Yeah, this is probably the best Bubsy game, which is sad. Well, I got 7,200 exclamation mark points. That ain't nothing to sneeze at, everybody. Not today. This balloon ain't getting me today. Shadow Meter. What up, Matt? Shadow Mater. 
Chattermater, who the hell are you? If you do not tell me who you are, I will pause the stream and wait silently until you say another word. Sounds like you know me. Uh, dodgeball player? I'm gonna guess dodgeball player. Friend from the past? Person I went to elementary school with? Go up on that, like, okay. Uh, you played this one? What, his ears got me, Johnny. How am I supposed to beat this if his ears are gonna get me? Sam Pope, oh, he's over here. Welcome in, Sam Pope. A YouTubester. Wait, am I holding on to this candle? No one was over the chat. I did everything I could, Sam Pope. I'm trying to get the YouTube going. Everyone here just loves Twitch. They love getting out of their mind. To be fair, though, Twitch does have the animated emotes, which surprisingly get, the, you know, they're they're an appealing proposition. All right, God damn it, your ears are covered with fart powder. I don't know. Yep, hover mechanic. That is the worst hover mechanic I've ever seen. Ooh! All right, we, with Johnny Favorite, with Johnny Favorite on our side, we can't lose everyone. I just fell through the blue teacup over there, but that's fine. Okay, no. We do not get up here and collect this mysterious thing. We cannot progress. Oh, we gotta touch that, all right. Welcome in, Shadowmater. Yeah, glad you're here. You know what? Uh, welcome to Twitch. It's a fine platform. I do prefer YouTube. I'm a YouTubester. When I'm not streaming, I'm usually on Twitch my or uh, YouTube myself. Now what? All right, I gotta just hover. I gotta hover for it. I want you to beat this game as a first, the first person in history. Even the devs were like, I didn't touch it. Johnny, I your advice is good. I think it's just a purely fricked game. Why would you start your first level with an unbeatable? Oh goddamn! I got super speed runs. Here we go. That punker got me. That punk flamingo got me. Oh sure, let's all torch the bumpster. Is that Plucky Duck's voice? The poor, the poor voice actor had no idea what he was getting involved in. It's a paycheck. Sick. This is gonna be on your IMDb now. Is that what you want? I'm speed running this thing now, dudes. This is high level. Pr oh god, premier Bubsy play. I gotta concentrate, dude. I can't be entertaining while I'm concentrating on this high octane act. The arrows that go up that way, Bubsy. It's your fifth time now. Yeah, but when I jump down there now, nothing's gonna help me. Alright, push the button, and then what happened? This thing is in your... I turned it off again! Oh god, this is no good. Gotta get over those balloon guys! There's no way over those balloon guys! Oh, wait, 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 I know what happened, everyone. Before you get upset at me, everyone, I realize I must have turned it off again while I was up there last time. All right, that's the evolution of the gamer here. You guys are looking at a 35 plus year gamer. I know a thing or two about video games, all right? I've been playing in my whole life. At this high level, too. Never for a second I slow down. So if you kill enemies, they just never come back? Is that what's going on? He had the common sense to say, just give them infinity lives. We didn't program a very good game. They don't have to suffer for our mistakes. All right, see, we're getting here, bud. Hey, get in here, buddy. Oh yeah, name every video game ever. I don't even know what I just said five seconds ago. Can't be done. All right, literally spelled my name wrong. It's supposed to be Master Seven. <laughs> it's your Shadow Mater. And now you have to live with it, Shadow Mater. And you know what? Gives you some uh, some sick clout. What's he shadow mating? I am mating the shadows. No, the balloons are still there. I thought I was fresh as frick. Who gave these two little a-holes balloons? They're gonna be such a-holes about it. All right, there you go. Hey! Oh, they did give me a game over. <laughs> what was that? All right, we'll give you 13 lives and no more. Actually, I bet you they gave me nine lives. Seabeard, we're what? playing. Hey. The Atari itself was a giant whiff. Actually, it was my whiff because I didn't own at least five of them. When are you bringing back Sub Zero? I know. Wow. God. That's it. Because all of you 
are being such rascals. You're going to have to watch me beat Kasumi Ninja now. I don't like the rules, okay? Kasumi Ninja! The premier... Kasumi Ninja! Jaguar fighting game. This one I will change. Oh, don't touch the door! I won't! I swear, buddy! Huh? Come on. Alright, lol, dropping through the platforms. <laughs> it didn't work so well, did it, Elbow Drop Gaming? Over on YouTube, thank you for being over there. Everyone, you guys want to get out of your mind. If you want more people to know about this game, you gotta help me out. You gotta go over to YouTube right now and hit the like button. Why? Because then the YouTube algorithm won't know what's going on. It'll be like, There's 30,000 likes on this video right now. We better just start showing it to Tiger Woods and goddamn Hulk Hogan's daughter. Anyone. Anyone and everyone. Then we really get out of our minds, alright? For many generations, there have been rumors of a small, well-hidden island known as Kasumi that's produced the world's most renowned ninjas. With the help of the preeminent Celestials, the island has been kept shrouded in secrecy and impenetrable wall of mess surrounds it. Ah, ah. Those who find the island uninvited are never heard from again. All your life, you've trained hard in body and spirit. And uh, Dragon Cloud, Kasumi Island at the temple. Let's go to Kasumi Island, everyone, for vacation. Hey, kids. Where do you want to go for vacation? Dad, I want to go to Kasumi Island. Ah, uh, sick. Let's go, Dad. It looks sick. Son, come with me, son. You're a man now. It's the bassiest voice of all time. All right, we got it. It's for the balance of the universe, everyone. I ain't about to let this universe go to crap. You know what I mean? All right, doing good. I never watch the show so much since I have to get up early for work tomorrow. It's a stat. Ah, we locked up the statters. Get in here, buddy. Let's get the stats on that. You know what? Maybe one day I'll have to look at what would be the best day for the show. I tried Friday when everyone could stay up on Saturday and it tanked the show. Oh, God, look at those numbers. Saturday the right day? I don't think that'll work either. All right, Edward Furlong is the greatest addition to this show. You don't say affirmative ah! or some shit like that, all right? You just can't go around killing people. Why? You just can't. Yeah. Actually works, guys. When I played this on my show three years ago, it was so boned up the ground wasn't even in the level. I played on a black floor. All right. Oh God. If you got him, get him in the chat. Fred Couple, boom, boom, boom. That's what he's doing. That's your man. That would be the dream. Seabird says, uh, "Can you convince him to bring back Sub Zero?" I would. I just don't. Have, I don't have the time yet. Instead, if you want to spend 25 bits of your hard-earned money, you can get Tino. You can also do the Tino channel reward, but some people are out of channel reward points, so I have given a Tino an option, but you gotta flip a quarter into the machine. Tino. One player story mode. Now, I need hard mode here, because if you don't play on hard mode, it's just not gonna give you the ending. Ninja got... That one's... That's for Shorty. Shorty's got the bits to spare. Alright, I am not Ninja God, but I am going to a gore fest. Hard mode, none, combat, disturbing, gore fest. Parental lock off, gore code, time limit, story text, credits reveal. All right, here we go. I beat this game all fricked up as it was. Oh, Tino. Tino, give me the strength. Select a fighter. <clears throat> I do believe I'll go this way. Fight blank. Door. All right, looks like we only got one option here. Fight this a hole. Senzo, select your opponent. Oh, that's my guy. I will be Senzo, and I will fight this stupid a hole. Don't worry, we got this. Entering the combat zone. All right, enter into the combat zone. Senzo. Round one. Ah, God, not today, buddy. Alaric, you son of a. I don't know what buttons are what. Apparently, I don't have an attack. Oh, for the love of God. L1 is my attack button? What has happened here? This might be harder than I thought it would be. All right, hold on, Elric. Fine, he gets this one. Tino, give me strength! Show no mercy. Show no mercy to Alaric. 
cool HP bars at least. Hey, don't you try and find the five, silver lining on this? Four, you get five seconds. Select your. <laughs> Why couldn't Jaguar do anything right? <clears throat> Give him five seconds. That'll be fine. Jackie. Entering the combat zone. <laughs> Just a LARP champion. Yo, yeah, oh, she's fine. Uh, Current game is Fubar. Uh, uh, don't you say that. Watch me lock this up. I, if they would leave me alone for two seconds, I could get some moves in the on the big board. Chalk them up on the big board here. What the hell button does anything? I managed to do an attack. I don't even know. I'm pushing two buttons at once. Jackie wins. Sick tins. Round two. All right, I think I locked it up. You have to push two buttons at once to do an attack. That can't be what they meant to do. All right, with this jump kick, I can't lose. Guys, Rad's blocking. That's how you know the pod people got me. Genzo! Oh, he didn't show me mercy. Yo, he fine. Is that for Chagri or Senzo? They give you one shot and then say, that's enough for you, buddy. That's what hard mode is. You asked for it. I want to see the ending. I just... What the hell are the buttons in this game? All right, hold on. This is boned up beyond repair. I don't even care if it spoils the illusion for you guys. Input. What is the input here? I thought the input would be all set, ready to go. Input device count. Input device number one. Standard. Yeah, set bindings. Free cat. <laughs> Look at the controller. That was the uh, Jaguar controller. Holy lordy. Button X is C. What's up? Tino is making this extra fresh. C button. All right. B button. All right. A button. All right. Pause can be start. Option. Oh, nobody need any options. Pad up. Pad down, pad tie left, pad tie right. Oh my God, is that what I was doing? Number pad stuff? Okay. He's a dead man. All right, get him a body bag. Hey! Tino, get him, buddy! Damn it. Got the driest lips in the world. Too much yapping. Not enough freaking hardcore maneuvers. All right. Let's see if this game works with just three buttons if we got them all locked up. That should work, right? That doesn't go back in. Hold down start to get back in the game. Yeah, right. Escape. 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 System. Resume. Now what the hell? Shadow Master. I'm gonna call you your real name. Shadow Master, get in here, buddy. I'm glad you're here. So every Sunday from now on. Hey, Tino, get in here, buddy. Sounds delightful. Um, every Sunday we're doing this show. You can check the archive out on YouTube as well. I've got every episode archived there. I also go all the way back to 1995, but the only ones on that channel right now are from the latest season. I can only be Senso. Select your opponent. All right, now that we got the buttons, this little a-hole's going to pound town. Entering the combat zone. Entering the combat zone. Happy to have you. Oh, Seabird, that's nice. A nice big welcome. Round oh, I just want to hang out. All right, get in here. I'm Habiki. What the hell? That's Pakawa. That's not the a-hole from before. And again, the controls are still boned up. I... Pakawa wins. I changed the buttons. You guys saw me do it. The buttons, they do nothing. I swear there's only one button in this game. All right, Pakawa is out of his mind. He didn't show me any mercy, this a-hole. All right, I only... <laughs> I get five seconds to decide if I want one continue. I don't 
don't think we're beating this game today, everyone. All right, let's go to her. She looks fine. Entering the hey, really glad to be here. Glad to have you here. Hey, Shadow Meter, I'm curious. Did you, uh, Danja? Round one. I'm so stunned. All right, hot tunes. Uh, how did you find me on YouTube? Was it just a random selection? Oh God, come on. She's throwing bones at me. Honestly, there's only one button that does anything. It's this punch button. Oh, here we go. Finally, Kick is doing something. She can't handle these moves. Guys, we have confirmed, locked it up. Game getting beaten tonight. Danja, wait. I think what they did to make the game more difficult was just let her do way more damage than she should. Come on, don't you have a fireball of your own, you son of a... He doesn't have any moves! Oh, no mercy. Danja, wait. Would have been nice for her to show me a little mercy. And that's hard mode. Good lord. Kasumi Ninja. Even with save states, I don't think I'd be beating that game. But we tried, everyone. Jaguar couldn't even get their flagship fighting game right. I don't like dumping on all these games in the past, but it, it is shocking. Jaguar is what you think it is. Here I was reading the whole intro, like I'm going to give this game a good shot. It is a piece of poo. We learned that now. You know what isn't a piece of poo, everyone? Mm -mm. Not for one second is this a piece of poo. Hey, you think I would play a piece of poo on this show? To be fair, this game looked pretty cool for the time. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Seabeard. This game took really cool pictures in GamePro. You'd be reading GamePro going like, because it's 1994. You're like, that looks better than Mortal Kombat. You didn't know how it played. You assumed, as a plucky youngster, you just assumed there was a baseline level of common sense to the game design. No. Mm-mm. You have nine buttons here. Use the number pad to play this fighting game. Why the hell would I do that? All right, what the hell is the motocross game in here? Because this one, uh, I seem to recall being extra fresh. Mm-hmm. I might have to look at my old list. All right. Uh, Frick Atari. Devin, no. So on the old uh, big board here, the... F uh, let's see, it took me, Kasumi Ninja was the 21st game I ever played as part of this program, everyone, just so you know. And I gave it a good 40 minutes. Hey, you guys like the long play format now. Well, that's it, you know what you guys? You guys have been riding my back all night. We're taking this one to Pound Town, all the way to Pound Town. I didn't want to have to do this, everybody. Now this is happening. God damn it. Back when it was Rad Reed's Game Pro, that was the show I had. This is me playing Kasumi Ninja. That. In my old apartment where I had to sit in the kitchen. Mortal Kombat. Uh, this know, is from two years ago. Looks like it's going to be hardcore, right? I read the whole intro again. Kind of. The old show, everyone. When it was just on YouTube. Classic. Restoring the balance of the universe. The Celestials cannot. Let's get to the gameplay. I'll show you guys. I used to be hardcore at this game. I don't much care for this. What the hell's going on here? I guess I have to pick this guy. In my search results randomly, so I decided to watch it, and I learned so much from it. Huge fan ever since. Wow, you actually got in the search results. I don't know. Do I get That's crazy to me. What were you? S I don't. If you oh, can tell me, yeah. what the hell were you? Searching? Was this the game with the kilt man in it? This was the game with the kilt man. I go fight the kilt man. That's what Game Pro would do in this very issue. He would lift up his kilt and the fireball would come out. Entering the combat zone. Entering. Sounds like you used to phone in the character that you have fully committed to now. What? Who the hell's scooting in here? DJ Online, you rascal, get in here, buddy. No, that's a great idea. As a composer, I feel a little offended. I mean, you rascals. The one. Give him a big old shout out. Oh, we already got you. All right. Thanks for that raid, bud. Um, we're watching some classic rad here. Jesus, he cabered because we're <laughs> we're playing Jaguar games tonight. He didn't show me any mercy. Yeah, okay, this is the second song I've heard from the game. Keep in mind, Seabeard, this was my second episode ever. Where's the girl? She had a... 
her song was equally abysmal. I must have just started testing the games the night before. This is good music. So I get the impression that a lot of games on the 3DO and the Jaguar Angus Scottish Terror Tier like multiple or Terrier uh, busted his balls the game and then combined. Look how the game when you can actually control it properly seems to do quite well. Listen to that. This is just this is a key change and that's it. Anyways, I get all the way to the end and then it doesn't show me the ending. Look how long I play it for. The original long play format, 156 all the way to... Of course the... Oh man, I got to the end boss in like a half an hour. Right, at some point, I'm sure he would have. I bet old Rad would have read comments and played AVP. Alright, alright! I was going hard as frick nice against close. Gyaku. Look at the high level play. I can't afford a misstep. Damn it, he actually baited me up. That's the final he boss. Waits for me. I don't know who was programming these games, but it seemed like they there was no quality assurance. Like one guy going like, ah, it's fine, put it out. Whatever, it worked for us the first time. All right, welcome in, you bunch of raidy rascals. We're just having a frick around night, and it's DG Online, and because I didn't have it on the screen, I didn't see what you're doing, but I'm guessing Baldur's Gate 2. And the answer is Dungeons and Dragons. Damn it. That was the obvious answer, but I chose to get rascally with it. Ah, hell with it. Kasumi Ninja ain't really that good of a game, and I'm glad I never actually played it. Yeah, you probably read the magazines too, right? You're like, that, that looks like a sick game. How could it go wrong? All right, AVP. Let's see how far back someone was yelling at me to play that. I hear Rad never played Mortal Kombat on PC. Numpad fo Adva. I know I had a PC friend that was saying like, no, because you get four fingers on four buttons. That's way faster than one thumb going in every direction. And it made sense to me, but... Ah, uh, come on, Jordy. All right, play me some AVP, please. Now I see it. Well, I did read your comment before. To be fair, this game sounded cool at the time. Then I went off on a tangent about how... Uh, something about 1994. Here's the thing, you guys, when you comment in this stream, you roll the dice. Is Rad going to see it, or am I throwing him off on a tangent? I am basically combining tangents in a non-stop 64-hit combo. Shorty Strauss, big fan of Baldur's Gate. All right. You are born in 2005. What in the hell? You've done your research, fella. Or something. Something to that effect. I don't know. My YouTube analytics say, hey, 90% of the people who watch your show, dudes, bunch of schlongs. I'm playing the percentages. Nolan Bushnell himself. This is the worst fight I've ever seen. I'm literally a nerd. While well, you're doing your research, you're like, I ain't, I'm, I ain't settling for just being a modern nerd. I gotta go all the way back. Make sure I get all the nerd stuff in there, just to make sure. I don't know the rules these days, Seabird. I'm in space. I don't have to abide by Earth rules. Be a robot for all I know. Skynet. What the hell baseline is this? Bulk Slash. Playing these old games on a keyboard is the best. You can map the entire NES pad on one hand, which leaves the other hand free to chuck monster mango locos like an insane, crazy person. And Shorty is known to do that on his stream. Follow him up, everyone. I will give him the honor. Follow him up if you want to see a lunatic chug a mango, a monster mango loco in one go. And then have watery eyes for two minutes afterwards. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Aliens. I don't even know which incarnation of Alien vs. Predator, Predator this is. I'm hoping it's the first person shooter because it was kind of scary back then. Now, let's hope they had the common sense, everyone, to at least use the aliens uh, sound effects library. What the hell's the point if you're not going to use alien sound effects? You missed it earlier, Seabeard. We played White Men Can't Jump on uh, Jaguar. And the song at the beginning really did have a message of unity. Black, white, black, white, black, white, unity. Although I was yapping over it, so all I heard was white unity. Right, Woody Harrelson really took it to, took it personally when he bet all his money that he could do a slam dunk and then biffed it, and Wesley Snipes got to take his uh, earnings. AVP coming at you. 
He took it so hard, he just went into the dark underground uh, world of race gangs. Uh, deleted scene from the movie. I actually really like White Men Can't Jump. That was when Harrelson and Snipes couldn't lose. Then they did Mo Money. Are you not a type, Master Shorty? What's the worst video game soundtrack you've ever heard? That's a great question. There's good bad. There's a lot of bad bad. There's a lot of bad bad that's just so bad it's not even worth mentioning. Like Mahjong games on the NES. With really cheesy, uh, like, just bad music. Uh, you know, that almost doesn't count. For me, I think the worst video game music would have to be something that offends me as a musician. Because, uh, for those that don't know, I am a video game composer. Uh, why don't you just go check this out, everyone, for the full effect. Socials. Gets it all covered. You can go to my main website, lots of samples there. Um, and you can go to Bandcamp or whatever, stream. It has all the links there. If you want to go to Spotify, yeah, no one uses Spotify. You know what off offended me as a listener? The soundtrack for Shakedown Hawaii Sea Bear. You get out of this club right now! Out the airlock, buddy! There's the door, buddy. I'm gonna get a little animated guy just floating out there. It's gonna be you. I don't have it ready yet. You meet me at the airlock. Get out. Love your music! Oh, well, goddamn. Thank you, Shadow Mater. Shadow Master. All right, it's the official name. If you animate a guy there, you can put my face on it, please. I do have my face. I had a... Is it this one? I swear I had a guy out there once. Battle play. No, goddamn play. I don't know where the hell he went. It was it was just my spacesuit man, but I shrunk him down to like a pixel, and you could still see my face animating in him. Head out of it. Let's load up Alien vs Predator for our good pal Seabeard. By the way, <laughs> Seabeard, what does he look like? By the way, do I still have it on there? Damn it, I deleted it. I had that AI art of you still on the screen, it's traumatizing me. Head out of hell it. All right, pressing enter now. Gameplay. Alien vs. Predator on the Jaguar. No one else had the balls to play this one. Only me. Oh, it's Alien vs. Predator, not Aliens. All right, well, whatever. Scary, Seabeard. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alien. Did I spell it wrong? No, I spelled it right. It's you that's wrong. Or do we just be this idiot human? He stepped in the room and watched these two guys fighting on. Uh -uh. That is not for me. I would never partake in this. I don't know. It's kind of nice to be the alien. Queen is gone. Find queen. Rescue cocoons. Vital to survival. Cocoon enemy with claw tail claw. Claw tail claw. Press the fire button. Well... It's a shame I don't know what the button that fires is. Am I already getting attacked? You start being attacked by the humans! Got him! Locked it up, speed run, incoming! Alright, eat the... What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ, this, this is what it's like to live as an alien. This really sucks. Simulation terminated. Oh, it's a simulation. Well, that's not as good. I want to live as an actual alien. This is boned up. <laughs> Huge play for the for the humans. Like in Alien vs Predator, they always talk about the alien as like, it's the perfect predator. All it does is it's there to just kill. Well, all right. Why don't I be the human since they're so OP? All right. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Get away from her, you bitch! I'll say bitch on the show. I don't often. Watch out for all these... Wow, they, you know, they don't start you with an alien currently tonguing you to death. Man, I just woke up from hypersleep. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I don't even know what button opens... Oh, God. Got a hold of this guy. All right, if your voiceover is going to be funnier than mine, I don't even... What am I even doing here? 
Uh, they don't even have alien rifle sound effects. This is boned up. Wonder what got a hold of this guy. I have strafing? The game doesn't even have strafing, everyone. Is it still a simulation? 64 bits of just red hot action. The Jaguar was 64 bits, don't you know? Oh, here we go. I want a piece of this guy. Open the door, buddy. I'm too stupid to open the door. I don't know how. Get in here. I can't strafe, so this is boned up. That was mildly alarming. In space, no one can hear you strafe. They didn't give you a strafe button in space. Bunch of a holes. Secret door. Hot RPG elements. And oh, the worst idea ever. Instead, you have to do spin moves to do... Oh, I'm out of juice! Oh, God, this is bad. All right, wait. Alien doesn't know how to use doors. Go to hell. He's locking me in! Ah! Stupid alien. All right, is Paul Reiser in here? What do we got this guy? Pulse rounds. Well, I don't have a pulse rifle now, do I? Computer engaged. Spas 12. Next Sunday night, Shadow Mater? Yeah, you get in here next Sunday night, Shadow Mater, and get your buns over to the Discord. Man. I'm freaking with you. Alright, Dunstan checks in. Dumpston dumping his guts out. How long till Rad sees that he has other guns? Well, I see them on the screen. I pressed every button. I don't know how to change it. I don't have a number pad in front of me. Computer Actually, maybe the number engaged. pad worked. Computer engaged. I Instead of selecting a gun, I pressed the computer engage button. Computer disengaged. I'm pushing every button available. They do look blacked out. I'm about to black out from just how hot as hot as frick this game is. All right, there's clearly still an alien out here. I have pulse rounds, but I have no pulse rifle. Run for dudes. All right, pulse rifle. Shotgun rounds collected. God damn it. All right, the alien didn't see me. Good, 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 good. It's suspenseful, everyone. A lot of s sleep pods in this place. You know, as a JRPG, this is really an unsatisfying game. I'm doing my job. I'm checking every hot room, and all I'm getting is sleep pods. Where the goddamn astronauts go to masturbate. Spooge floating all over the place. God damn it. All right, well, I guess the idea here is check every sleep pod. Don't miss a single one. Oh, Lordy, it's on, dudes. All right, over under on whether the acid is going to hurt me on the floor. All right, thank you, Streamlabs. I doubt this game has object permanence. What, you, what, you don't know? I can fill a warehouse. <laughs> Ow! Why the hell will Jaguar need a numpad <laughs> for all the detailed, hot, detailed games? Alrighty. Who's the dead man? Oh, here we go. I got shotgun rounds. I don't think the film had a single shotgun in it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Just waiting there. <laughs> Gotta go! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what a terrible mechanic. If they die in the way of a door, there's no way to get through the door. Give me the pulse rifle for the love of God. Food collected. Good, I could use some snacks right now. Fighting for my life, and all you're giving me is snacks? Frickin' Ritz bits with peanut butter? Man, 
and I'm loaded with shotgun. I'm carting around 50 pounds of shells right now. With no strafe! It's one of those games where every room looks like the exact same. Ye no, I, what are you talking about? They're just starting that way. It's gonna break wide open. No strafe, so I'm boned, dudes. Look, how the hell am I supposed to get through that now? Unless I eat my Ritz Bites. Mmm, acid doesn't hurt me. Not for once. Oh, Lord of Jesus in heaven! I don't know where my health bar is, but hopefully I can run fast as frick over this. Med kit collected. Alright, stims. Oh man, I'm stimming out of my mind. Med kit! Alright, over under if I can shoot the box. God damn it, there's no box shooting technology in this game. Got him, locked it up. Alright, maybe it doesn't. Old FPS logic says that you don't get all the weapons at the start. That would, uh, yeah, so by the end you get the BFG. But for now you start with a stupid shotgun. Well, let me tell you what my logic is, don't touch the door. Alien games should start... Windows, do you want to update right now? Don't you see I'm streaming? Jesus Louises. You better start hard and heavy with the... You better start hard and heavy with the aliens sound effects or else I'm walking. Tina would never play this game. It's a shame, because he'd be really good at it. Oh, what? No! Now I have to crawl through the acid? Oh, for the love of God. What the hell's the point crawling in here? There's goddamn alien xenomorphs in here. HUD display. Uh, info. Oh, Jesus. God, no! Look how fast I am at crawling backwards. Hey! Damn it, Dan. Not while I'm in the fight for my life. Oh, this is it. This is it, dudes. No! Get him a body bag. Get that a-hole a body bag. <clears throat> Run for it, Marty! Ah. That's not how pipes work. You guys know Dan crawls around the pipes in my uh, club all the time? He works here, he doesn't even need to do that. Frick him, Seabeard. Get this man a bike back, bike back! Get that body, or bag, a body Dan. Get that body bag, a body bag. No! Oh! My watch. We need a little break here. Out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind, my mind. Playing the solo of my life, and Volt Thur robot gets in here. All these shenanigans, Dan. Not right now, not while I'm courting a new viewer. Timeless classic for sure. Snap into a goddamn slim gym. I know I ate too many. Now I got pepperoni breath. Macho man had the pepperoni sweats. That's a fact. R.I.P. Best in the biz. Oh God. There was no reason for me to even crawl in this tube. I'm just a deranged marine. All right, this stream is officially bonkers. Thank you, Johnny Favorite. That's what we're going for. A, a good old Radland Raw should be bonkers as frick. 
Welcome in, Vol. I'll call you Volt. No, Volt. Vol. Welcome in, Vol. God, it's Volt. The first word is Volt. Why are you call me Vol? I'm out of my mind. That's a fact. Welcome in. I don't know if you've ever seen the stream before, but we go hard as heavy on Sundays. That's our job. All right. Tonight we're playing Jaguar games because I didn't have a plan. Now, usually on Sunday, I have a sick as frick plan and a well-orchestrated show. Dan! A well-orchestrated show where I do a bunch of research the night before. Eight hours of research, as a matter of fact. And we play all the... Oh, dear lordy dudes! No, run! He's tickling my fanny! All right, this is how you have to scrape in this game. All right, hold on. I'm in the fight for my life. All right, I ran out of Ritz bits. I have no food. I can't even see what's down this hallway. They're gonna get me. Try following along. I'll try following along. Oh, don't worry. You've got the gist of it right here, right now. Because this is a raw version of my regular show. Where I'm not bound by all the earthbound laws, you know? You guys realize I re I found that I have an earthbound box in my collection? Just the box is worth almost $1,000 US. Why was no one keeping their earthbound boxes? Anyways, that's uh, unrelated. Oh, for the love of God. I don't know how many rounds I got left, but I can't crawl through all this acid. There's no way in hell. Uh. President's Day, Jaguar Special. Oh, that's why everyone has the day off. Because of all those delightful presidents. I don't know. I don't have American holidays up here in Canada. Do we celebrate President's Day here? We watch enough American content. We might as well be like, ah, Abraham Lincoln. Sick. Not as sick as Grover Cleveland. That's a president, right? Not as sick as Jimmy Carter. The best in the biz. Not as sick as Ronald Reagan's hair. Thick head of hair on that one. Grover Cleveland was sick a lot. <laughs> I have the black lung, pup. Get me out of this fart-filled sarcophagus. All right, there's gonna be like eight xenomorphs out here. All tickling my fanny. I don't need that. That is really scary. More Ritz bits? Sick as frick Ritz bits? Oh god, no, this is no good. It's a face hugger! He's hugging my face! Ah, the hell with it. That's worse than tickling my fanny. Alright, god damn it. Well, we played that one. All right, welcome to the show, everybody. Now, usually, I go through a month in the past, and we're in 2001. We got out of our mind, but I had to take I had to take this week off because I have to make some music. Uh, I have to earn a living, and uh, I can't afford to take a full night off to stream for all you lovely people out there. Oh, that's not even fair. Yeah, I don't think the Jaguar games were especially concerned with being fair or quality. I If there's one that was sick, if there's one that is confirmed good, we'll play it right now. Until I hear otherwise, I'm under the impression they're all awful. Genuinely awful. Now, on this show, everyone, let me show you. This is how many games we've played on the show. It's my games list. Get ready now. It's been over a thousand games. I've been doing this show with that level of detail, that many games. All right? I've been doing it since the SNES era. Uh, that game was supposed to be one of the best. Honestly, it did actually play as one of the best. It just had stupid mechanics. You can't get through this acid, buddy. You're gonna have to crawl through it. We'll only give you food once. Good luck. It's like you just don't kill the aliens. I guess you have to run away. You know what, since we have some new guests, we'll just go to the VIP. So, uh, for those that don't know, which is a lot of you apparently, we've got a lot of new viewers here. With my life savings, I purchased a space station, hollowed it out, scooped it out, got Ty Pennington to flip it, move that bus, and we turned it into a sick nightclub where we are currently partying our balls off. But we only serve Diet Pepsi caffeine free. I see you guys drinking anything else in here. You're out the airlock, all right? Don't worry though, we got tiny little pint glasses from Japan. Here's to getting out of your mind. Oh, man. All right, thank you, Shorty Straw. Ah, oh, snap! Hides the beer. What beer? It's fine. 
gonna have to smuggle it in here though, because up here in space we only have Diet Pepsi caffeine free. It's the only thing I shuttle here, back and forth. I'll show you what it looks like though. We got a nice outside view, just so you know where you're at. And it can be disorienting to be in here. Dolph Lunger and people partying their balls off. Everyone's getting out of their mind, but you don't know where you are. Where the hell am I? I don't even know where I am. I'm looking at way too many scenes that I've created for the show. At Ellis. Space station outside. There we go. Oh, she's a beaut. In space. I don't even have a mouth. Yes, please, show us more. Where the hell is spacesuit rad? There he is. Right. Floating my balls off out here. It was hard to get out here as fast as I did, but that's the space station. It's called Radland. We get out of our minds. Now, I plan to be streaming full time at some point, but for now, I have to do it once a week. But at this high octane level, that's like an eight hour stream once a week. And if you guys ever sub, not that you have to, but if you ever sub, we get a private stream going on the Discord once a week as well on Saturdays. Maybe I'll do the uh, Swizzler instructional stream next. <clears throat> Seabeard saying, set game to Mortal Kombat mythologies. Uh, excuse me, it's Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies. Get the hell out. That is a hard as hell game. Alright, I gotta get back to the club. Hey! Hey. Ah! I might as well give you guys the ultimate. The ultimate tour. Fred, turn them off. Turn off the tachyons, Fred. Alright, for the last uh, six months... Dan, the maintenance man, has been in charge of the club, and he has burned it to the ground. That's why we have Tachyon technology, to really just clean it up, make you see what it should look like. Dan, you've been seeing the whole show. He's a real frickster. I actually took the image of Dan and let the AI... Oh, Dan, not today, buddy! I'll show you what happened here. We need a little break from all that high-octane Jaguar action. The other day, I, uh, I paid $8 to, uh, what was it, Mid Journey, so I could make some AI art of the show. What do you think, show? And it came up with some very terrifying things for what Dan the Maintenance Man looks like. Uh, this one in particular will give you nightmares forever. Dan has slowly been becoming a Lovecraftian-style cosmic being. I don't know how else he's able to get around the club so fast as he does, but uh, that is what I see when I come into work every day. That is traumatizing. There's also this one, equally traumatizing. Yeah, he's what he's becoming one with a bit. No! <laughs> he's stunningly accurate. Jesus. He uses AI, do anything now. Well, you know what? If you're using AI to do the stuff for you, that's no good. I think that's got some problems. I also think AI has a lot of seams. It's not seamless. When you're in there trying to make some sick art like this, like uh, concept art, you can see very easily like AI can't do everything. It's not going to be able to do everything for you, but it could basically create something that looks like something that already exists. That's where the danger is. You're like, hey, hey, yeah, I'll make your art for you. What do you want? Some basketball guys or I don't know, type basketball shooter? Done, done. In the style of Dragon Ball Z, done. There you go. That'll be two hundred dollars, please. But you know what it is really good for? If you have a really stupid show, and you want to see what the characters from your show would look like in a fighting game, well, no, that's delightful. That's Fred Couples and Carl Weathers in the golf fighting game. You come up with a name. It, it, he's going Super Saiyan. All right, uh, what's another one here? I thought that was good. A golf fighting game starring Fred Couples and aerobics babes. All right, AI. I didn't have that picture in my head before, and now I do. Now I goddamn do. Also, man, did they turn Fred Couples into a super stud. His arm's going the wrong way. Dude, this is nightmare fuel right here. Yeah, well, I forgot to give you guys a warning. But hey, Fred Couples should really uh, lock it up. These are amazing, exactly. So, I'll tell you what I like about AI is it's a really fun thing to mess around for personal reasons. You're like, all right, uh, load up, especially if I have characters on your show. I've also loaded up some space station ones, which I thought were pretty sick. That's what it thought of my space station. That is pretty cool, god damn it. It's scary how AI can do this though. Well, you can see really easily how it does it. It just analyzes stuff that already exists. And it can't do everything. But what they're doing is like, all right, if it's a painting, probably analyze the brush strokes. And then like, it can recreate the brush strokes. But you can see when you give it search queries, how it doesn't know how to do much beyond certain things. 
Like I can get I can get variations of this creepy Dan thing, but I can't I can't like make it do everything. I can't do like get that but with a cowboy hat on. Which is what I really want. <laughs> That's what I'm really looking for. But it did it I could see where there's like a little bit of trouble for concept artists. I think they're probably completely out of work right now. Because if you're just a game developer and you're like, I need to get some concept art for my game and I can't I don't have any money. I got no money to pay for food. But I can get sick as frick concept art. Like, alright, type it Space Station in the style of Sid Mead. The guy that did Blade Runner artwork. So I typed in my space station. And I gave it way too much words. I'm like, eh, six space station nightclub where they only serve diet Pepsi caffeine free. And it gave me this. In the in the art of Sid Mead. Alright, well, we think it might look something like this. Classy. Anyways. AI can definitely be scary. Uh, but it's got it's got flaws. As humans, I don't think it'll ever replace artists because as an artist, you can be so surgical that, and you can be pivotal. I need to pivot, man. If someone's giving you direction. Can you add Dan with a goddamn abyss behind him and Cthulhu behind him, but also give him a cowboy hat? Only a human could basically be like, all right. There's probably only a handful of humans that could do it and they would probably cost a lot, but you could do it with a human. AI basically brings to you uh, a quality of art that was unaffordable otherwise, which is where you think about it like this people will be using AI to create art that we're not able to afford the art anyways. So it, in the net value, you get more people creating things, at least creatively, being creatively inspired. That's a positive. But then you get like, all right, chat GBT, uh, write this sick blog for me about men's fitness. No, that is stupid. Or to mate, you massive fanny, you. Grom, get in here, buddy. Glad to see you. You see what Dan the maintenance man has been doing to me? Grom, look away! Oh, God, Dan is here. And he's become one with the abyss. Oh, Jesus. Frick. All right. I just wanted to show you the nice little AI minute there. I'm thinking, I already ran through my 200 uh, stoke for big fannies this Friday. Thank you for reminding me, Grom. For those that don't know, this Friday will be Big Fanny's series, uh, or, uh, season two finale. Not as your dreams, that was the last episode, but Grom, myself. Wong Tong, get in here, buddy. Howdy, gang. I'll, I prefer Gnag. You shouldn't have corrected it. Be you, buddy. Um, Big Fanny's is where Grom, myself, Jigs, and Quantum Player 1, four players, split screen, compete to see who can beat a game faster. We usually give ourselves a four hour time limit. Our very own mod, Shorty Straw, is picking the game on the next episode. We usually take turns picking a game, and each of us usually win our game pick, although Grum did not win as your dreams. Um, but Shorty does not compete, he's just a facilitator. He's picking the next game, none of the four big fannies know what game it is. We have no idea. Well, it's just gonna be diving into the... Diving in, diving on in, on the sh in the shallow end? I might lose some teeth here. I love these events. This Friday, buddy. This Friday for me. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Grom is a whole 12 hours ahead of me, I think. This Friday at 1 a.m., I think. So technically Saturday at 1 a.m. Right about uh, whatever this time is, a little bit after this time, next Friday. Fallout 2, Big Fanny's Run. Fusha, I don't know if we can handle that. If it has my macros on the screen, there's no way I can play it. So do check out HTTP bigfannies.com it's a real website that Jigs pays for and it actually just shows all four of our streams on the screen at once in a big old school four player deathmatch format it has a lot of problems but you know what it's kind of nice to just see how all four of us are doing at any given time I'm currently tied for first place I have a big shot here at becoming the, the two time big fanny champion because I won the first season which was all NES games my money's on Grom damn you Wong Tan hit the farm on red Friday 1am for you mate Friday, so technically Thursday, 1 a.m. then. You're being so technical, Grom. Until I go to sleep, it is still goddamn the day that I was at. I find, but hey, put your rad bucks down on it, Wong Tan. Earn yourself some rad bucks, get some Tinos going. I always use more Tino on this stream. All right, we got some Jaguar games to play, everyone. We're playing Jaguar games today because I don't have a plan. Your money should be on me, Shorty Straw, somehow. Tino, damn, he foin. And he is smooth as a porpoise. That is fact. 
All right, everyone. Let's take a look. I don't even care if you see. What the hell do I care? Jeff Gerstmann was showing it, and he has hundreds of thousands of followers. Is he going to jail? I don't think so. What the hell is that motocross game I played? That is easily the stupidest game I've ever played in my life. All right, we also, we're a little over. This will basically be the game of the night, everyone, because I got to get some work done here. <laughs> is that one of the free ones, Vong Tan? Disapprove. Make sure we get that one in there. I'll post my time of my blind run I did uh, to test the game I picked. Uh, yeah, we, Shorty, you should do some content for it. Make some YouTube content. That could be your sick YouTube. Uh, big start to YouTube. Val Dezir skiing and snowboarding. Oh, that sounds pretty fresh, dude. That sounds pretty goddamn fresh. That was before Cool Borders 2. Don't worry, everyone. We played White Man Can't Jump earlier today for like 20 minutes. I don't mess around. Zero five. I'm too lazy for that. Ah, fine, shorty. Fine, I gotta do it. I don't wanna do it, but I'm doing it. That is a drum solo if I've ever heard one. Good luck spelling this one. Skiing? You don't get enough skiing in video games these days. Music by Teak London. Grom, I live in a house now. I'm in the basement. I don't know what the hell's going on down here. Formerly, they were right, right on the other side of that wall. Now I can get sick. Slide whistle solos going. Teak London goes hard. I don't think anyone's gone as hard as Teak London has. Oh, man. I'm just here for the tunes. Man, Teak. See, Teak is on the side of the good. There's the Fred Couples, the Tinos, the Michael Keatons, the Dolph Lundgrens, and now the Teak Londons. On the other side, you got the Gustin Heimers, the frickin' Dans, goddamn Miyamoto's, and goddamn Bill Gates's. There you go. That'll play. This game goes hard. This game just goes hard as hell. If I change the screen, we won't hear the rest of the song. And as a video game music composer, I'm compelled to hear where they went with this. This is easily going on the playlist from now on. He's playing slide whistle! They drew first blood, not me. That's slide whistle in the game. Shred. Oh, whoa, shred it up, bro. After all that slide whistle, mellow slide whistle, we need to get over our minds. Teak! I'm Teakin! What in the hell is going on, Teak? There we go, you gotta hold down X button to get Teaked out of your mind. Ah! Oh, Teak, not like this.
And, oh my god, up is jump. I'm Tekken! I'm Tekkenen! What's his first name? What's Tekkenen's first name? Shorty would know. Sounds like a Finnish guy. Like Vlad Tekkenen? Alright, we're gonna have to do a second run here. Essa Tekkenen, that's right. Is he? Is he Finnish, Shorty? He's the only one that can get teaked as hard as Teak London. Holy good lord, there's actually people on here. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. We get to keep going. Essa Tikkanen is smiling right now somewhere in the world. There's bikini babes going through here. Or they're in swimsuits anyways. High-waisted swimsuits, am I right? I biffed hard. You know what? That doesn't slow down Teak London. Not for one second. Sick method, Teak. Oh, God, why is there a tank on the mountain? There are people in the middle of the goddamn track. Well, it's not actually a race right now. Teak's just losing his mind. This is basically the base sample from Chrono Trigger. Although they did it way better here, clearly. Deke London a little bit better than Yasunori Matsuda, let's be honest. Oh, dudes, I don't think we're... Oh, Teak is going to be smart. He's frowning somewhere in the world right now. Is this part of the game? I think it was part of the game. Uh, wow, the classic rat. I did not... <laughs> think says, Where the hell were you going, Teak? I don't know, it's out of my mind. I had a few diabetes get me free. Shred! Shred it up, bro. I clearly was not shredding enough. What, Grom, what up? Quick question, how do you get the package from Jigs? Uh, did I get the package? Hell yeah, I did. In fact, I'm waiting for it to come in so I can uh, eat some of the stuff. I drank Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free out of this sick as frick pint glass that our very own Jigs sent for an insane amount of money through postage. Oh, Hedge Knight, you rascal. The hell in here, buddy. You're just in time. We're about to scoot out of here. Short night tonight because I got to work. No, nothing. All right. I got all quiet. I was like, Hedge, what's he going to say? Welcome in, Hedge. Now, you just gave us the perfect excuse to jam out our good friend Shorty, or uh, TM Bass's Sick as Frick tune, our celebration tune. This is like basically our national anthem here in the Radland Club. You did it, you're a man! Hedge. Get in here, buddy. Trim those hedges, all right? But do not, for one goddamn second, trim one of those nipple hairs on your body. Not a single one, buddy. Braid them together. Measure them out. That's at least 13.2 inches of nipple hair. Pure, unadulterated nipple hair. You're a man. 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 Ah! Fred, get swizzled. Show these guys a thing or two about swizzling. All right, that feels good. I've done almost 40, no chest hair. Well, chest hair, get the hell out of here. Nipple hair, all right. No nipple hairs? God damn it, my nipple hairs just keep getting longer. I have to trim them sometimes. That's a secret though. Otherwise, they just keep going. I swear if I don't trim them, they are gonna turn 13 inch nipple hairs. And then that'll be hot content for my OnlyFans. It'll be an all nipple uh, OnlyFans. So close you can't even tell if it's a man or a woman's nipple. Get a lot of people accidentally getting boners. Oh, sick. That is the nipple of my dreams. Hey, don't ogle me, all right? I'm just here to show off my pristine nipple hairs. I'm very proud of them. And if I ever start going bald, hair transplant. Those are the ones you want right in the front. Is that a man or a woman's nipple hair? Yeah, the women got off lucky, right? I don't think there's a lot of women growing nipple hair. Statistically. I'm sure there are some. I like mine, though, ladies. Back off. This nipple hair's mine. Thank you for that, Hedge. We're playing Jaguar games tonight, Hedge, because I did not come in with a plan. Nope. We were going to go November. 
That's maybe going to be next week. We might have to get Raw again next week. Until I can get this project off the ground and get a bunch of money in my pocket, the plan is to go full-time, everyone. You know this. But for now, Rad has to pay the bills. So for now, Radland's getting a little raw as frick. That's how we roll. That's how we've been rolling. Roll the game. Shred! Alright. And there, Grom. We answered it up. Same brawl. I'll be 40 in a couple weeks. My Where's my chest hair? Well, I don't have any chest hair. I wish I had some Burt Reynolds chest hair. Some Tom Selleck chest hair. You can do it without the forearm hair. I think they usually come as a tandem couple. You don't want that. You want just the chest hair. Then I might work on my chest. I might actually try and get a sick chest to look like Burt Reynolds. I don't know why I keep going Burt. Tom Selleck, obviously. Although Tom Selleck is about a foot and a half taller than me, so... You pause the game too long. Shred. You don't shred. You don't get to shred anymore. New song. All right, now we know what we're doing, everyone. Get off the hill. Teak is coming down. All right, it doesn't help that I have no idea which direction I'm going until it's too late. Sick method, bruh. This baseline is getting one step away from out of its mind. All right, that's a concussion. I don't have my mind. When you're this out of your mind, nothing makes sense. The only thing that makes sense to me is doing more sick as frick method grabs. The music in this game is, <laughs> is Check crazy. Point. Checkpoint. You want to go this way or that way? Well, finally, they're giving me a little bit of direction. There's rocks and dead bodies all over this mountain. There's people. Why is there a race going on during open ski session? Okay, I'm, I'm not even fooling right now. This song is getting me hard. Not in a sexual way. You know, just getting me hard like the criminals would say. That would be lewd otherwise. We have a PG-14 program going on here. I'm allowed to drop one F-bomb a season. Frick. Hey! He's just freestyling it. He doesn't care where he's sco- what? for the love of Pete. Where in the hell am I going? I just off-road it, buddy. Go wherever you want. There's no trees over here. You might as well just go over here. The line that I'm going to get for this level is going to be all boned up. There's no going out of ski hill bounds. You got to follow the rules. Now we're zooming. Oh, here we go. Check one. Off the hill, poser. This hill's for locals only. I think I must be going in a perfect perpendicular lines to where I'm supposed to be going. Hey, when you're out of your mind, you do whatever you want, you know? Poses. Danger! This isn't the way to go! Alright, would you stop doing method grabs for one goddamn second and just realize you're in danger, buddy? Really popular ski hill. All right, I don't think we're locking this one up, everyone. As bad as I want it. As bad as I want it. It's in, and, and I want it bad. One over the top of the hill. Finish line. Checkpoint. Jesus Christ! I'm never gonna stop playing this game. Did you see how many checkpoints there were on that big map? Okay, the what the hell kind of curves are these? Right, maybe I have to slow down from time to time. Hell no. I think Essa Tikkanen ever slowed down when he was scoring hat tricks left, right, and center? No. You think Teak London ever slowed down when he's writing this goddamn guitar riff? Hell no. All right, why is there tanks on the goddamn ski hill? You want to connect at this point? No. I'm going to go the wrong direction. Oh, 
London going hard. Diggy was full octane forever. All right, Hedge Knight said, tried watching Rowan from Viva La Dirt League. I'd rather give you my limited bucks. There you go. We locked it up, Hedge. Proud of you, buddy. Hey, it's good to have some old friends. Born on the same day as me, Hedge Knight. Same exact day, same exact day. We got a big one coming up, Hedge. Uh, milestone birthdays. That's why I got the grays and the beard. This music is pretty solid. Nice baseline. Everything about this game musically, I'm on board with. I could do with it. Look at this line that is on the screen right here. It really is indicative of how little direction they gave me. Like this line here. What happened here? You want to go this way, Tikkanen? Nope. Going straight through the snow. How do you swap the skis? That is a. Before we go? You're goddamn right. I almost missed the skis. I don't know how to shred. escape. Ugh, shred. I don't want to shred anymore. Why is there more music? Wow! Johnny favorite? You've officially lost your mind and said Yong Street is now officially out of his mind too. Almost hiccup barfed. All right, Teak London made me do it. All right, Johnny. Hey, if Teak's getting you out of your mind, what, who am I to deny? I'm Teakin', bro. That's a new a new one for the show. Won't ever work hard on episodes again. I think the key to winning life might just be going hard on the Jaguar from now on. I don't know. It's like 10 episodes in. All right, let's try Kazumi Ninja again. Let's see if I can beat it this time. All right, we got to pause it. We got somewhere to be. Our good pal, Yong Street, who's currently getting out of his mind somewhere else. Oh, Yong. Johnny says you're in. You're in, goddammit. Oh, and it's not too J A N N E. Just got Young subbed up. There we go. You did it. You're a man, Johnny. You're a man, and Young Street's a man. That's confirmed. Just be careful. If you guys get too close to each other with all that damn nipple hair flopping around, you're gonna get your Threads tangled like Herman Lee, the guitar player for Dragon Force, and his guitar. Frick! I've seen him get his hair caught in his other guitar player's guitar. Stop! Get it out of there! No, not till the solo's over. Back to back, let's go! I swear the screen screen's gonna fall down one of these days. How is Tino so smooth? Well, he's smooth everywhere but the nipples. Yeah, when he got uh, waxed up, he said, Don't you dare touch these nipples. I need him hairy as frick. Uh, Scrag said, don't eh, sue me, ninja character bios next time. Night Squad, all right, get out of here, buddy. Thanks for coming in, thanks for stopping by. One Swizzler and let's get back to the game. Guys, do follow TM Base on his Instagram over here. Fred Couples is showing you right where to do it. Right over there, right over there. Get over there right now, he's a sick musician. He doesn't just get based out of his mind, apparently he plays guitar also. I watched him play a live concert in Vancouver. One man show on the stage with a guitar and he had his backup band on like an MP3 player and just rocked the house. He was coming to Vancouver, he said, yo, I'm playing a show in Vancouver, you wanna come watch? Yes. Let's go. Yo, Rad, Blink getting in here, buddy. We're getting Roz Frick tonight. Roz Frick. Did they wax his muscle definition as well? No, he just decided not to flex. He didn't want all the ladies to have too many tears when they looked at his teardrop quads. I actually managed to find a recent video of uh, Tino, all gray-haired and everything. It's crazy. On YouTube. I was way down on, like, Latin YouTube rabbit hole. Found him. Found you, Tino. He's a smiley guy. He looks pretty nice. There he is. And he looked super sensual back in the 80s. All right, let's find out if this can become the ultimate skiing simulator. Jesus Christ. Tino rocks with Teak all time. All right, what the hell happened? They rock hard as hit. All right, start took me back there. What am I looking at? There's no way to get out of here. All right, we just... This is definitely going on the playlist. All right, I literally have to start the game over again. Joey! Welcome in, buddy! 
Yeah, the maintenance man. Get the hell out of my club. Get him a goddamn body bag. Get Teak to write a goddamn solo about how we just beat the hell out of him. T London emote win. <laughs> this song is such a bang. <laughs> now it says skiing and snowboarding, and we've only so far, as of yet, apparently, unbeknownst to us, not like we wanted it that way, only got to see snowboarding, and I won't live with that. Competing for the big one here. All right, Teak is lacing up his skis, getting ready to go. He's going for the downhill giant slalom. He's lost his mind. You're not supposed to do those in skis. 57, get ready for a sub 30 run right here, right now. Speedrun.com coming with a new entry. Let's go, Teak. Oh, goddamn. All right, and again, they're not filling me with any confidence that I have any idea where I'm going. I'm gonna miss some flags here, everyone. I have no idea where they want me to go. I just have to feel it out. I have to look at my inner Teague London. So far, I'm doing pretty good, everyone. All right, we boned it up. Ah, Teague London, come on. That's gonna cost me. Sick! Sick! Teague London, get back on the course, buddy. This is basically send me an angel. I'm bicycle boogieing right now, dudes. Half of the course is off screen. You can't see where you're going. All right, who the hell's the frickster that got 57 seconds? <laughs> is it glitch? Is that part of the game? Oh, frick. Oh, man. Oh, Briggs, what the hell are you still doing up? Briggs, this game has out of control tunes. My god. This is tip to taint, a solid soundtrack. Hey, don't you worry. Is that drop B? Alright, the whole damn thing is going on the playlist. Val Desir? And some recruiter yelled at me on LinkedIn. Oh. You're not welcome here, buddy! Not if you're gonna... What were you, were you drunkenly talking to him? Hey, you're looking pretty good, buddy. Hey! I'm sorry I've had a few. Val Desir sounds pretty Quebec. Are you a Quebecer, Joey? Christ. So I went, hi, no thanks, have a good day, bye. Seems cordial. No, but I know a lot of places in Quebec, like Val something, all right. LinkedIn has a new thing of canned responses, oh my god. Yo, stop yapping and just play the game, Mr. 300. Don't you tell me what to do, buddy. Enjoying these sick tunes, and then I'm getting out of my mind in this game again, because I am breaking that 57 second record. What game is this? It's Val Desir Skiing and Snowboarding. This is the game. Well, we didn't really expect this game to be much, but I get in here and the music ends up being just ripping, ripping as hell. Allow me to demonstrate. Best time now is 53 seconds. Oh, it's for race two. All right, well, here we go. I have played over 500 PS1 games on this program with bespoke original content just like this. Show you how many games I've played. 
Uh, here we go. There's the games list. <laughs> Three of us did it at once. That's over a thousand games, all right? A lot of them PS1 games. In fact, I played more PS1 games than anything. So every month, every week I do a new episode based on a month in the past. And I started in 1995 when the PS1 came out. But I, uh, I don't have a plan tonight. I didn't really, uh, I have to get some work. God damn it. I had to get some work done tonight. And so before I get to work, I'm doing this for all you guys. Playing Teague London's premier skiing snowboarding game. Teague London's the composer. He got title billing on the uh, title screen. So far, he hasn't missed. He's batting a thousand. Jesus Louises. Hey! No, oh, come on, Teague. Alright, it is really hard to tell where the hell you're supposed to go. But it's not hard to tell when you should do these moves. Alright, sub 53, here we go! Oh, we've only biffed a few times, come on! Alright, Teague Lennon is frowning somewhere. So is Essa Tikkanen. All right, five seconds off is not bad for three biffs. You're a sound designer right now. Uh, yeah, that's my current job. I have to write some tunes. And for some reason, I have to write Nintendo music. All-time whiffs! It's a different tune. There's so many tunes in this game. T. Glennon has written at least eight tracks for this game so far. Right, they didn't much approve. Oh, I got a minute 12 from all my additional times. Dan, not now, buddy. Get the hell out of my club. As much as I just want to live in this game forever, everyone. And you know I do. I think we got one more game in us. Teague went above and beyond for this game. What a damn champ. Let's give it up for Teague. Tino likes this game. Fred Couples likes this game. Michael Keaton likes this game. Everyone likes this game. And I think it's because, and only because of Teague's outstanding performance here. One more banger. Jaguar's the one that got away. Get in here, Tino. Show us those uh, perfectly smooth legs. Smooth as a porpoise. All right, what was the game called? I have to look through my own list, my own game list. I have it in an actual Excel spreadsheet. Jaguar games were in the first season. I was so excited to play them. I thought it would be easy to get them to work, but before this emulator came out, it was not easy. Whoa! It's been over a thousand games. I've had over a hundred games since I made that channel reward. So it's not Double Dragon 5 on Jaguar, not Pinball Fantasies, which I have all the time. Not Hover Strike. Jesus Christ, I played a lot of games. White Man Can't Jump, we played. Jaguar, Atari Karts. Oh wow, quarterback attack on Saturn. That was a gem. Jaguar, Supercross 3D, everyone. I remember this from the May 1996 episode. If anyone ever wants to go back in the archive and see the episode in its full entirety, I wouldn't recommend it. Those are old episodes. We weren't, I don't even think I had a set yet. I remember this being one of the first truly silly games I played. Wow. What the hell happened? And why was I not playing it all the time? God damn, Teague. Every track of this is going in my playlist. Holy Lord. Oh, thank you, Shorty Straw. I was a game. It might be games list. I know it, it even screws me up when I'm trying to find it in my own files archives. Total Benaggers. Yep, we got the Benaggers out in full effect tonight. All right, what was it called? Supercross. Find them all the way up. The one that got away, and then they even made a peripheral. They made a uh, Jaguar CD. You had to plug into the top because it was a cart-based system, and then it was basically like a discman that you plugged in on the top. Jesus. One more go and then let's call it a day. We're living the Atari lifestyle right now. 
If that's not filling you guys with confidence, then I don't know what the hell will. It might be Supercross 3D, but I'm just going to call it Supercross here. Let's see if this game has anything on Teague London. I don't think it does. Oh, here we go. Hot. Hot. I don't need to practice. I'm going right to the tournament. D Forkin. Just change his nationality. Oh, I can change his name? Well, here we go. Ahead of its time. 1995. Like, are you sure you don't want to be called D Forkin? I'm sure. Big dumpers back in the rough and tumble world of motocross. Is there a space somewhere? This is important. This means I'm fine. I'll just be. Must be a bunch of underscores because I'm in a 90s Yahoo chat room. Sick. And for some reason, he's from Italy. All right. Pause. How do I get off of the screen? Other people would probably give up, not me, everyone. We came here for Dumper, and Dumper we shall have. But here's the, the real risky thing is, I don't know what button gets me off of the screen. How do I get back down there? Dumper. I don't know, but just don't hit the square button again. Over under on whether or not there'll be multiple buttons that erase the whole name. This is the Jaguar. It's not above them. Circle! Oh, Lordy Jesus. No Canadian supercrossers? Ah, uh, goddammit. Fine, he'll be straight out of the US. Uh, obviously, he's Team Jaguar. Mr. 300. PC and PS1, but the. What do you guys find on here? You guys got out of your mind. Skunk! Oh man, I miss games from the 90s. Yeah, we blasted through the 90s too fast, didn't we, Johnny? Wasn't Silver Load a PC game? Oh no, Dakota. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, there, Mr. 300 knows a thing or two about a thing or two. All right, RIP. Sadly, Silver Load is not on Rad's list. No one trusts people that drink milk out of bags. Believe it or not, it's an East Coast Canada thing. Imagine, though, how fresh milk would be out of a bag. It's airtight, sealed forever and all time? I bet you get an extra couple weeks off that. But we don't have milk in bags over here in the West Coast. Brad missed a PS1 game? I know I only played 500 of them. I'll show you the, uh, goddammit, what is... All I can be is myself! Uh, do I have the, no, I had the R, I, goddamn. All I know is I've played almost 180 fighting games on the show. Followed closely by 3D platformers, somewhere about 120. All right, tune it up. I don't need to tune up. I'm ready to rock. Dumper is ready to take k Not down to Pound Town. And D still? Get the hell out of my tournament, buddy. All right, heat A. I'm in. I'm in goddamn heat right now. All right, which button is go? That's the hard thing. Well, it's a delayed X. That's what it was. All right, Dumper's not filling us with confidence, but he's out of his mind. Let's see how the rubber band AI deals with that. They're like, should we wait for him? Jesus Christ. Is he still in the race? Sick. Don't you dare even think about touching the edge. Or your fanny for that matter. I see anyone touching their fanny in this race. We're, we're gonna cancel this event for years to come. Oh God, Dumper, you gotta want it, buddy. All right. He's locking in, he's just locking it in right now. Is that even a lap or are they making me go backwards? Jesus, Louise. All right, this is it. Now we're locking in, now we're finding our groove. If Stella can find her goddamn groove, I can get out of my mind. Oh, this is hard. These tunes are hard. Now we're catching back up, dudes. Seventh place, my Aunt Fanny. You gotta want it, Dumper. Get back on that wheel and go, buddy. All right, Mr. 300, I'm glad you locked it up. At first, you're like, I don't know about this guy. Now I do. Now I'm sure this is where I want to be. 
Well, we do the main show every Sunday, and believe it or not, this is not the main show. This is just me boning around because uh, I have to get some work done. Now, usually the show goes for eight hours every Sunday, and I do a ton of research to make sure every game works. We're going to be doing November 2001 next uh, next week, possibly. Otherwise, it's just going to be this again because I have to. I make music for a living, and I have to work when my son is asleep. And uh, I have a gig that I have to get finished or else I don't get paid. That's what the bummer is about. Working for yourself, it's like you have to do the work or you just don't get paid. Nice finish, though. <laughs> He's going over the handlebars. All right, K-Nod is a cheater. This is one of those games we were like, so realistic graphics. Nothing's going to get better than this. That is exactly why I started the show. If you go month by month, chronologically, you can start enjoying these. You catch the wave, right? Oh, man, look at these graphics. Oh, man, we finished the brick zone. Oh, man, we locked it up. All right, I want a piece of McDonough or whatever his name is. I'm holding down the speed button, but watch, it won't even make me go off the start. Did I have to turn the key? I didn't have the key in, in the ignition. The motorbikes like this even have an ignition? All right, sixth place. We're coming up in the world, everyone. Same race, though. You don't mind if I take this sick shortcut? All right, that guy behind me is even doing even worse. Dumper, you got to want it, buddy. I can get you to the door, but I cannot walk you through it. You have to walk through on your own. You know, this game is definitely missing some Teague London music. Oh, come on. We got a little hair. Play a bum's hair. Where are you going, Teague London? All right, now we're firmly in eighth place. I was gunning for that one spot before this, and now I'm boned up. Now I'm hosed. Spend forever avoiding work I gotta do. And then feel great when it's done. Oh yeah, when you get it all done, you get paid. Are you uh, self-employed there? Edge, you working on your own stuff? Nice when you get you get that big fat paycheck after that. It sucks when you're not getting paid yet. Like, well, I have nothing in my bank account. Nothing in here. That's basically why I can't do the show right now. I have to do this instead. And I'm actually going over what I was planning to do. But we're having too much fun. Oh, I'm a god, Tikkanen! Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. I'm getting lapped by these a-holes. All right, final lap, everyone. Got to make some big plays here. I'm getting lapped by eighth place. That is a special kind of last. The graphics are never going to get better than this. Good Lord, I'm going to have to go slow around that corner. We'd see that how, uh, TV in the background going like, oh, oh, my God. You guys remember playing Balls 3D and that TV in the background? Oh, my God. Did only two guys finish? That makes me feel better. The frame rate is definitely laudable. Have yeah, been all right. Well, that's it's fun to you know. Where did Dumper finish? Matt can see Simpsons reference from the corner of his eyes without even looking at chat. <laughs> Simpsons is definitely in my blood. Although you know what sucks? The older I get, now I've been getting Simpsons quotes wrong, and I know even when I start the quote, I'm like, I don't know how to finish it. Oh no! I used to have every Simpsons quote locked up. I guess I had to remove some of that to put stupid video games in my brain. You can only have so many stupid, uh, random pieces of knowledge in your brain at a time. Oh, Tikkanen! I'm holding down the X button. He's just choosing not to go. Oh, no! He touched that tiny little piece of dirt! Where in the hell are we supposed to go in this level? Yeah, no, no, it's good. Don't show them where they're going. And if they so much as touch a fanny hair onto that uh, dirt, they just go bowling over. These tunes equally represent how hard I'm just gunning at this game. All right, we got the Marky Mark vibes here. Feel the vibration. Feel it, feel it. You gotta feel it. I ain't wearing no shirt. Feel it! Girl, you gotta feel it! Girl, look how long my nipple hair is! 
He keeps sending me pictures of his nipple hair. I just wanted to see a picture of his penis. Mm-mm, girl. Not till the 10th date. You get the nipple hair on the first one. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm so close to just veering out of control. That's the goddamn Supercross lifestyle, am I right? I'm living the Supercross lifestyle. I don't need to get on a dirt bike ever. I won't play a game this high octane. Feel it, feel it. I'm veering off to the side. I, I don't want to alarm anyone, but look how bootylicious this guy's behind is. That is a Miyamoto approved giant size fanny. Maybe before Mario 64 was out, he's playing this game nonstop all night. Feel it, feel it. Yeah. Marky Mark, without a shirt on. Giant fannies. Ah. Oh. I think a bit of living in the city soundtrack would uh, beat the world record in this game. You're right. Living in the city, you know, you have to sit in. Did they get seventh? Or did they just say, here's seven points? Don't blow them all in one place. Chalk it up on the big board. Dumper number seven. The other guy must have died. That's the only way I would have won. What the hell happened to him? Oh, it was only seven. You know, we only got room on this course for seven. Seven is the number we chose. Fine. This one's pretty fresh. All right, you're right, though. It could have been better with a little living in the city. Why not close out the night with a little living in the city? You know what I mean? Oh, God. Here's what the set actually looks like. Oh, man. Dan has hosed this place up. What can you do? What can you do except, you know, just put your head down, talk about living in the city, and just life moves on, you know? What the hell is living in the city? This playlist is gargantuan now. And I'm just scanning for the word living. Good lord, it's not in my badass vibes part of the playlist anymore. Dan has been in here messing around with my playlist, everybody. I'm supposed to be living in the city right now. God damn it. Oh, there it is. All right. Hey, this is what we need. It's what we need in our lives. It's because it was under Sonic. Sonic R. Which was a racing game where you run on feet. All right, Sonic R. Time to get out of our minds. Oh, God. I need this. No, I will not turn it down. Yog Street, get in here, buddy. Late, or wait, he's been here. I thought he just scooted in way late. Living in the city, you know you have to survive. You have to keep the dream alive. If it is easy. All I can be is myself. Ruining it. I'm enhancing it surgically. Stop with that flute whistle, or the floof gets it. The, the slide whistle really gets people's blood boiling, and I'm here for it. I can't believe I don't get copyright strikes for this. 
Maybe retroactively, this one's gonna just be taken down. No one can play this. Sega finally just gets in there and says, no, no, no one's doing it. Gives you a lot of Tino. You get a lot of Tino for 25 cents. I don't know why I played it on both. Twenty-five cents could be yours, Young Street. I made that one just for you, but you have to flip a quarter in the machine. I can't help you. Try a recorder and play three blind mice. I can't do it with the fingering on the recorder's boned up. God damn it! I am gonna. I'm gonna survive. God damn it! I ain't need no man. Is it real or is it fantasy? I don't know. Just closing out with a good old Sonic R. Living in the city. There's something truly wonderful about listening to this magical tune with a bunch of dudes online. Here it's like. Is Tino on stream elements? Yes, it is. That's the only way I can get it for 25 cents, right? But the, uh, I don't know why it played two there. No idea why. I only have... That didn't make sense. Is stream on Tino Elements? Yeah, I only use Tino Elements. I would never use stream elements. That's Shorty. Busting out some of those fresh as frick Shorty emote. You have two overlays. Yeah, I do. But the ones on stream elements should not be triggering in stream labs. Right? Hey, you gotta survive. I, I gotta survive somehow, Shorty Stone. I tested it before the show. I didn't get double Tinos like that. If you're winging it tonight, what game are you playing for fun? Play that. Oh, Hedge, we, we got to get some work done. This is the grand finale of a, the first Radland Raw in a long time. But you have two stream elements overlay. What the hell did you just say, Shorty? I got one browser alert, which I think is for the Streamlabs one, and then this one for Stream Elements. That doesn't make any sense that I would have two. Unless it's somewhere in Stream Elements that that happened. I cannot confirm or deny. Alright, let's lock it up. Teague London survived in the city, surviving in the city. By making an awesome soundtrack for awful games. Yeah, he's like, I don't care how bad this game is. I'm getting out of my mind. Now, you know what else, everyone? We gotta get out of our minds. We gotta go become raidy rascals. I'm sure you guys have been getting hard as hard as hell in here. Like hardened criminals, but you know, we gotta go, you know, just soften up a bit. Just for one second. We're gonna go visit someone. We're gonna become raidy rascals. We're gonna take that Tino energy, that hot Tino action, and just bring it to someone else. Uh let's see if we have any friends going. First, we gotta get the hell out of this club. Let's get the hell into that shuttlecraft, everyone. Seatbelts on, everyone. All of you rascals out there, get the hell out of here. There's no more Diet Pepsi Cafe Free. We're, it's a dry county. I don't even have a drip left. Nothing. All right. I got to go get some more. We got to go to Earth, make a big catch up here. Uh, and do catch up on episodes over on the YouTube, guys. I'm not kidding. Follow that YouTube. Don't bone around. If you guys want to go over to the Discord, get over there. Don't bone around. If you guys want to see any of the music I've made for video games, check it out. Don't bone around. Especially you, Young Street. Don't you dare be boning around. All right, let's get in the shuttlecraft. And three, two, one, break. All right. Space. Close call. All right, the first, I'm gonna, first ever space swizzler. That was super fun. Hey, you guys make it fun. Thanks for getting out of here. Shrum is going. Uh, he raided the Radland big time once. That is true. We are blasting off. We're going out of our minds. All right, well, I'll take a look at the big board. We'll see who's on there, Shorty. Shrum did give me a big boy raid. Like, here's 80 people. I don't think any of them followed, though. God damn them. I'll go over there and harass them. Hey, well, we're not good enough for you? Is that what's going on here? It's coming to be the most aggressive, angry raid. What the hell, bro? I'm sure when you get a raid, at least 80% of them are asleep, for sure. Especially when it's nighttime like this. Uh, I should just come up with something really loud. Get out of the house, it's on fire, you gotta go! Uh, and also click the sub button on YouTube. 
follow button on Twitch. I would never yell at someone to pay money, but I will yell at someone to click the link. I ain't, I ain't boning around here. I'm done boning around. All right, no one followed. Frick them. Yeah, I don't, I don't get a lot of follows from the raids these days. I remember when the most I ever got was when uh, Zof or uh, Zosty when he, he did a couple raids early on. Man alive. My analytics are still so boned up. Zero and then get. They're still boned up three years later. That's fine. We're doing it the long, we're going for a long play here, everybody. That's, that's an odd. My followers are oddly aggressive towards new people. Name the money or we'll dox your family. Ah. All right, I haven't even checked the list yet. I'm still looking at my own background. It's fine, we gotta kill some time on the street, uh, screen anyways. Twitch.tv. See what we can do. I got a big raid once and zero follows also. They must have all been asleep, Shorty, because otherwise they would have all seen that hair at the very least and been like, I gotta follow this guy. Whatever he's doing is, that's what I need in my life. I do also have Pete Dorr going. He gave me a big raid once where our very own Lurker Lou found the stream. Hypnogram's going hard as heavy. Haven't seen Hypnogram in a long time. See Royce playing Call of Duty. I would love to raid him, but it's like Call of Duty players when they're not pro level. They don't even care. Yeah, I'm playing the game. Shut up. I'm trying to get the big W. Oh, damn. We're, we're, it's whirring up. Fred? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hyperspeed. All right, we got to get the hell out of here. Uh, let's see. I'll just play some tunes while we're doing this. And what better tune to listen to than Virtua Tennis? That's a good one to go out on. Go out on. I said it like a Canadian. Go out on. Go out on. I don't really care. I have all of my buddies in chat already. Hey, feels like family, right? What's the space station from? I rendered her myself. Just, I don't know. You go to like... You get object files off the internet and you uh, load them into 3D uh, applications. Add a bunch of sick stuff to them. The lights I had to add myself. It's custom order. Yeah, I, I added a catalog. Sears catalog. Space station. It's at the back. What a sick space station, dude! Hell yeah, dude. Alright, I don't know where I'm going, so maybe we'll just... What is Shrum playing? It depends what he's playing. A Shrum run. Another one, the guy that made the art for Anomaly is actually streaming. I've never streamed him before. That's right, he has oddly political political things. No politics, please. Only the funny. Man, I gotta watch an advertisement before I can find out if I wanna go stream a, a Raid a guy. I will watch the ad so you don't have to, everyone. Playing Zelda 2, lock it up. Sh Shrum, you gotta tell us you're playing Zelda 2. You know they a guy just broke the world record. Uh what's his name? Not Filenator. Something Inator. Riffinator, I think. He just broke the world record for this game, speedrun style. So let's go see Shrum. And if you guys are awake, give him a follow. Let him know that he's got Radomaniacs out here watching him. Let's say Shrum. He's English and French, so if you guys know French, just start busting it out. Hey, frick you, says Seabeard. Of course, he's talking to anyone that isn't following. Or going to follow Shrum. Anyone not getting Shrummed up, they get the hard rain. Have a good one, everyone. See you soon. Everyone stick around for that raid. You get a couple five, 500 rad bucks. That's a Dan raid punch in the face. That's a Tino punch in the face to anyone that doesn't want to see it. Man, he's out of his mind. He's killing Black Knights left, right, and center. All right, we just get over. The, we'll go over there fast. All right, everyone, we had a good time. Fourteen rascals ready to rock. I gotta get the hell out of this fart-filled sarcophagus myself. Get the hell out of here, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hey, Radland Raw, plus minus. Tell me on the Discord or in YouTube chat or YouTube comments because it'll still be in the archive for some reason. Can you imagine watching this in the archive? What did I watch? I don't know. 
Nej, nej, nej. Nej, nej, nej. Three, two, one, right now.